Yes, my viewers and subscribers, good night, good night, good night to you again, students. Good night to you, one and all. Welcome to the second class. Welcome to the second class for the day. The first class was okay. Welcome to the second class for the night. Good night to you. Welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic, where we bring you the hottest and latest news happening in and around Jamaica. As usual, it plans to be another exciting, entertaining, and tonight is going to be a very informative night. We're going to get informed, we're going to get excited, we're going to cuss. Yes, we're going to cuss because some things that will be exposed tonight, you are going to cuss my viewers and subscribers. The hypocrisy happening in Jamaica, you will definitely be cussing about it. But anyway, you know that we normally start this class with a song and I will be playing an excerpt from the uh, Labor Day Praise and Worship Concert, and this happening May 23rd, 2023, and you will be hearing the voice of Richie Stevens on stage. So please remember, students, as you come into the class, please remember to hit the like button, and if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is to just type your name in the comments. My viewers and subscribers, Everal Warmington and Expose Andrew. What is Everal Warmington exposing Andrew about? Several things we're going to talk about, all right? Please remember to hit the like button as you come into the class. Just enjoy the music for about three to four minutes, and then we're going to start the class, all right? Good night to you, one and all. Let's hear the voice of Richie Stevens. Well, on the money, let's rush it, sir. Get the man on the round of applause, man. They feel comfortable. Got him just a rush, sir. All right, just so when me did I grow up, my grandmother used to sing some song in the house, you see. And them song, they stay in me. That's why God live inside of me. Are you ready to go down memory lane? Here we go. Yes, good night again. Welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. And big up all of the people in here who love the old time gospel songs, them, all right? Big up the people who love the old time gospel songs. Me could listen to a few of them and then invite the Lord just for you know. Cause God was saying that everything. Let us just enjoy the music and then immediately afterwards we're gonna start the class. Listen. A song we want to sing. A little more all in my life. Keep it burning. Everybody! A little more all in my life. I pray. Let me hear the choir sing. One more, come on. A little more. I can't hear the choir. A little more. A little more. A little more. Keep it burning. Keep it burning till the break. If I had a wing of a dove, if I had a wing like a dove. Anybody know them big tunia? Anybody know them big tunia? What would you do? I would fly, fly away, fly away and be One more. If I had a wing of a dove, if I had a wing like a dove. If I had a wing like a dove
favorite dust artist is Kukudu. You love Kukudu? Yeah. Don't sound, sound like I don't know him. One of my favorite gospel artists is a youth named Kukudu. I love him style. I love him energy. So I'm going to ask you one more time. You know what Kukudu? Yeah. We've got a song together. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Here we go. God has been good to you. Let me go. Put your hands up. If you believe in God. No oh God is real. Somebody make up Father God. Put your hands up if you know God. When I hear some people say, When they must say, There is no God out of spirit. They must say, Man, I said, Forgive them. Cause they know not what to say. Say, from crime to ceiling, say glory, 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 glory. You are when we see my delight and the holy way. So we don't hear what the people want to say. Father God, are we not? I will tell everybody, be careful of the word that come out of your mouth. Father God, I know the only way home. You better hurry up, hurry up. God that they never seen yet. I say, see, give first the kingdom of God. Get the knowledge and the full consent. I mean, say, see, eternal world. Give a work over time. Him on a mission to control the mind. I look at people as they put the line, but this is the sign of the time. You better hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, and come in train and leave. No matter. Yes, my viewers are subscribers. You better hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <clears throat> Good night to you again, one and all. Welcome to the second edition or the second class for the night for Jamaica Hot Topic. The first class was very lovely and the second class will be even more exciting, all right? Please remember to hit the like button as you come into the class and I'm going to be calling the register and I'm going to be blessing up each and every person who is in the class, all right? So Pat W is the first person. Pat said goodnight, teacher and classmate, back in class again. Well, thank you so much for coming to class again and for being the first person. Pat said, Mama Lashi, hugging tan, ready to bust the bubble. Where you say, hugging tan, ready to talk up the things. Then you're going to hear what Warmington have to say tonight. You guys are going to hear what Warmington have to say tonight. And I am going to play it for Uno. I am going to play it. And when I play it, my viewers and subscribers, you will be the judge. But the students, remember, as you come on, like and share the live. Share it, let everybody hear it. The more like, the more it reaches the globe. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, please hit the like button. Junior Henry said, back in class. Welcome, Junior. JP said, good night, teacher and family. Blessings all. Lana Silvera said, good night. Josh Bonlet said, good night, teacher and, and students. Blessings to everyone. Calligraphy said, good night, everyone. Ready for class two. Yes. Althea Jones said, good night. Sister Edwards said, good night again. 
uh, Jennifer Davis said good night. Jamaica Hot Topic, I miss your first class. Well, you can watch it back again. Well, welcome to the second class. Aja Jones said good night. Hot Topic, it's been a while since I'm early. Well, God is good. You're early tonight. Jimmy, Valentine, big up yourself. What going Jimmy? Jimmy said good night again. Blessings. Janet Riley said greetings. Nicola Green said good night again. Second class for the night. Yes. Yoshi Ba said good night. Teacher, I'm back. Welcome back. Joy McKenzie said good night. Hot Topic and classmate. Miss last night. <clears throat> you mean I miss today? Egla Fletcher said good night. Everyone, Patrick Campbell said good night. I need to say good night. No cursing over here, please. All right. Jane Carney, I pray. Erlene Edwards said good night again, teacher. Everyone, Stacy and Stoner said good night, teacher and classmates. Nicola Green said a little more oil in my land. Keep it burning. <clears throat> yes, my viewers and subscribers. That's right. Juliet Graham said good night, teacher. I'm back. Ines Phillips says, since I have no wings, I will sing, sing, sing. Sing out your sister. Sing out who wish you could have sing and sing. Devon out of power. Marian Wilson says, I feel like dancing. Dance, sister. Christine Phillips says, good night, teacher and classmate. Same to you. ER says, good night, boss. Wagwan, ER, blessings. Bev Heaven says, blessings at topic. And to you all. Carla Bank says, good night, teacher. I am back. Welcome back. Nicola Green says, hit the like button, students. That's right. Viv Chin says, good night again, everyone. Yes, good night again. Sister Edwards dancing. Beverly Small said good night at Topic and everyone on the live. How are you doing, Beverly Small? Good night. Nicola Green said pull up. Geraldine Bennett said good night, teacher. Thanks to have you back. Yes, glad to be back for you guys. Hazel Eyes Gems said good night, teacher. How are you doing, Hazel Eyes? Sonia Barrett said good night, teacher. Miss Ward. Everyone. Marjorie Lewis said, bless me, teacher. God bless you. Bless up yourself, Marjorie. Jennifer Green said, good night, teacher. One love. Larry Beckford said, welcome back. Welcome to you too. Florence said, I am back. Ace, daddy said, blessings. Love, good night. What well, one? Ace, daddy, big up yourself. Sona Newman Smith said, good night. Shelly and Stephen said, good night. Everyone, miss you, teacher. My nights, them lonely without you. Lord Jesus, Shelly. And when you say your nights, lonely without me. My nights, lonely without you, not all. Vernon Mitchell said good night. Kimona said I'm a day a teacher. Day a Tim Timona said teacher. I'm a day a blessings my classmates. Seasons greetings. Seasons greetings to you again, everyone. Florida Sona said good night, teacher and classmates. Don Clark said good night, teacher. Daphne Brown said good night, teacher and students. Is I am proud students of your class. I'm a proud student. Big up yourself, is I gem. I've seen you a few times. Andrea White said good night. I'm back. Ivan Wallace said hello, everyone. Way behind trying to catch up. All right. And Marlene Blake said, good night. Good night again. Good night again. Good night again, students. So, there's a lot of things that we discussed in the first section of the class. And we are going to begin this section of the class by bringing about an article that most of you are aware of. And you will see it again. All right. So, my viewers and subscribers, I'm sure that you are aware of what happened recently by Crab Circle with the vendor Alice using the tissue to wipe up herself right where she has sell the crab and there was public outcry and it caused the place to shut down. Now, my viewers and subscribers, I specifically did a video and in one of the videos I did, I put the health inspector as the focus or as the thumbnail of the video, my viewers and subscribers. Anybody remember this health inspector? And I said, this health inspector, you're not easy because the because according when this health inspector was doing an interview with the Gleaner or TVJ or whoever it was, he said something which caught my attention and I brought it to the students who are regular class, who are regular students to the class. I showed you that the man said that he heard that Alice passing a vehicle <laughs> my viewers and subscribers on the day when crab circle was being opened on the day when crab circle was being opened this man on your screen he said he's a health inspector and he was doing an interview and while he was doing the interview he said that he heard that alice was passing in a car while Crab Circle was reopening. And he's out there to ensure that Alice doesn't come back. 
and I found it quite strange and peculiar, and I laughed about it, and I even shared it with you guys over here. I, 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 I'm sure that some of you would have remembered if you were in the class. And my viewers and subscribers, little bit from this, I said that there was something strange about him. But little bit from this, my viewers and subscribers, from what we get to understand with information surrounding him, him circulating in social media, is that this man is not a health inspector. This man, my viewers and subscribers, is not a health inspector. As a matter of fact, this man is a prankster, and I believe he has a YouTube page that he goes around doing some pranks. And my viewers and subscribers, when I play the video for you, and I ask you guys what should happen to the man, some say he should be arrested, some say the government should be ashamed for allowing this man to be able to breach the systems. You all had varying opinions, but quite a few of you said that he should be arrested. I was of the view that he should not be arrested, you know, because he exposed the weakness in the system. However, I believe that the, 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 the mayor for Kingston, and over here we call the mayor Mr. One Tilet. We call him Mr. One Tilet because after Crab Circle was shut down because there was no toilet, they reopened it and they only reopened it with one toilet. And some of my students in the class were of the view that they should have had two toilets, one for male and one for female. So because he only created one toilet, we dubbed him the name Mayor One Toilet. So I believe that because Mayor One Toilet was embarrassed that a prankster could come and trick them right before their very eyes, they were very upset. Because this man was able to beat the government at their own game. This government, this JLP government is known for doing pranks and tricking the people. This government is known for doing a lot of pranks and tricking the people. And this man come out and do a prank pan uno. If you are locking up this man, lock up the prime minister, lock up the finance minister, lock up the health minister, lock up everybody. Allow me to tell my viewers and subscribers, if what is good for the goose is good for the gander, I said if what is good for the goose is good for the gander, if them are lock up the man for playing tricks, the government must get lock up too because the government has been playing tricks. Look at SSL. Tell us that five laptops get stolen. It's a big trick. We all know it is a trick. Which 87 brave enough for going at if you go in a SSL where government are investigate, forgot to touch no laptop. Which 87 going, which madman going to go in? My viewers and subscribers, talk to me. Talk to me and tell me what you, what you think on the matter. Talk to me and tell me what you think in the matter. Carol, Alin say, hot topic. I am hooked to your class. One love. Well, thank you for being hooked to the class, Carol, Alin. Simone, Mac McGregor say, good night, my friend. Enough love, my friend. Big up, Simone. Raymond say, I am back for the second session. Big up, Raymond. Patricia Kelly say, good night. Happy holidays, one and all. Olga say, good night, everyone. They're on daily say, I don't like the JLP. They must go now. Well, they must go there on. Verna Miles say, good night to second class teacher and classmates. Pat said, remember, I said they are going to charge him. I know it. Well, you were right, Pat. You were right. And I don't believe they're charging him for what he did. I believe they're charging him because the man beat them at them own game. Because this government is known for coming with all kind of tricks and pulling all kind of stunt. And here a man was able to pull a stunt on them. And I believe it is their ego that was battered and bruised why they decided to charge the man. I don't think they decided to charge him for breaching this, you know. They decided to charge the man because they are the master tricksters. And because someone was able to trick them at their own game, they decided that they're going to charge the man. That is what I want to say, my viewers and subscribers. So I wanted to bring it to your attention that them decide that they're going to charge the man. But all this man, I want brave money, my viewers and subscribers. Isn't this man a brave man? You mean to tell me that you sat down and thought about it in your mind. You sat down and thought about it in your mind that Crab Circle is going to open Thursday and you are going to get the same clothes that the, 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 the health inspectors wear. You're going to get a fake ID. All this man is serious in my viewers and subscribers. This man is really serious because I'm sure that there was a lot of work and thought that was put 
into pulling off this stunt. And this man was able to pull the stunt, my viewers and subscribers. And them lock up him what's it, not on charge. <laughs> Murder. My viewers and subscribers. I don't know what to say, but the only thing I have to say that this man beat the government at their own game because this government is the master tricksters. This government is the master tricksters and this man beat them at their own game. Let me read some comments and see what you guys have to say about the matter. Nicola Green said, Alice passed in a vehicle. That him say, K. Spence, how you doing, man? K. Spence say, bless up teacher and classmates. If they don't arrest Alice, I don't know, I don't know why they bother arresting him. It better them employ him because obviously they don't have the staff. A true. I agree with your case, but it's better them employ him. Nicola a false inspector. But we have false prime minister. We have false health minister. They talk, Nicola, you are talking about false health inspector. Remember that the minister of health is a false health minister because he's not a doctor. He has never been to medical school. He knows nothing about medicine. Yet he is the person leading the nation's health affairs. Jamaica is going backwards. It's going backwards, my viewers and subscribers. So if this man is a false in inspector, they shouldn't be upset because all of them are false. All of them are false. <coughs> Type in the comments and tell me if you agree. Sorry about that. Angela Palmer said, good night, everyone. Blessings to you all. Kali said, I remember, and, I, and, I, and it did seem peculiar. Of course, it seemed peculiar. I remember I laugh when I see him. Pat said, but him speak better than the one toilet. Of course, this man was more fluent in his speech than Maya one toilet because Maya one toilet seemed like him, him and I'm white. He said, I'm bit under the Ray or the Nevio or he was under a combination of both. But this man speak more eloquently than the Maya May I want tile it? But anyway, let me read some more comments. Ivan Wallace said, oh my God, yes, I can't. Laugh out loud, really and truly, I can't. Sonia Barak said, yes, teacher, true. Carla Bank said, true, teacher. Andrea White said, real talk. Novelet Williams said, good night, everyone. Good night, Novelet. Cynthia Campbell said, you're right. Pat said, two different Jamaica. The goose have big heads and the geese have little heads. Jamaica it is. Yes, I true, you talk. The goose have little heads and the geese have big heads. Nicola Green said one toilet. Vernon said he embarrassed the government. Of course he embarrassed the government. He embarrassed the town clerk, Robert, whatever him want him. That one day will follow the mayor. Because him said that is the man show him the ID and I him give the man permission to address the crowd. The man addressed the gathering in my viewers and subscribers. This man here where they're on the screen or one prankster. This man was able to get on the screen. This man was able to get on the platform. During the time when Crab Circle was being opened, you know that is only ministers and certain big top guests were allowed to speak on the platform. And this man was able to beat the system because he went to one of them, showed them the fake idea, and they decided they was going to let him talk. So it is a person. I don't remember the man's name. It's him in I'm feelings why the man was arrested. Anyway, let me read some more comments. Tyrone Larkin said, Good night, guys. Time to come out. Vote out the Jamaica Labour Party, PNP government for life. Where you say PNP, you say my brother. All right. Sister Edward said, Laugh out loud, them shame. Carla Brank said, Teacher, prank people are brave. Them brave for true. Andrea White said, He funny. Pat said, Them need to give him a job in the health sector. Obviously, they need to give him a job. John McKenzie said, Dead with laugh. Sonia Barrack said, Them shame of themselves. Larry Speckford said, Good night. Or oh, a good idea. Employ him. For real, employ him. Quite obvious that the man have tricks and trades and tactics. Ryan Foster said, You're so true. And it said, It wasn't it only. It was three of them. And they were all locked up. Yes, I hear that it's three of them for true. All three of them that pranked them were locked up. Carol Allen said, No one recognized him while he was inspecting. Carly Banks at my age is the worst Mrs. Jamaica and is known. You hear that, my viewers and subscribers? The, this lady, Carla, is saying that this is the worst she has seen in Jamaica. And we're going to be discussing some issues. Beverly said, I am back in class. Welcome back. Stacey and Sonia said, Minister of Herpes. Lord Jesus, you're out of order, Stacey. Sorry, I meant Minister of Health. Jesus, Savior. Andrea White said, the man, brave. I barney says so if him can go pan platform, don't that make him the intelligent one? Of course he's very intelligent. 
Sonia Barak said true Kale Bank. Patricia Kelly said yes. Him want to expose them. Look how easy it was for him. It was very easy for the man to expose them and beat the system, my viewers and subscribers. But I want to, to bring something to your attention. I think you saw the video already. But in case you have not seen the video, I am going to replay the video for you again, my viewers and subscribers. Because I was supposed to show the video earlier on, but because we had so much to cover in the class, I didn't do it. My viewers and subscribers, Dr. Christopher Tuftang has clapped back. Christopher Tuftang come out firing back. I'm going to show you and I want you to be the judge, guys. You tell me who you believe. Do you believe Christopher Tufton or do you believe the lady or you believe the video? Watch what I go, go on my viewers and subscribers. I know that some of you have seen the video before, you know. But for those who have not seen the video, this is a perfect time for you to take a look at the video, all right? Let me put the video on the screen and welcome to those who are coming to the class. If this is your first time, welcome to Jamaica Hot Topic. Because we bring you the hottest and latest news. My viewers and subscribers, let me hurry up and pull the, the video on the screen. We saw a video, my viewers and subscribers, where people were complaining that there were no toilet paper in the hospital. There was a lady who was saying that she was in the hospital and there is no toilet paper. Now, this video, I brought the video and a lot of people brought the video and it is making waves on social media. And I'm not sure if he's embarrassed, the minister embarrassed, but the minister of health, the failing minister of health, Dr. Christopher Tufton, who is not a medical doctor, by the way. He has never been in medicine school. He has a doctorate in business administration. He has a doctorate in business administration. He never operate upon nobody. He never write one prescription yet. That means he don't know how to take care of people. And he is the man who know have run in the health sector. But anyway, look on the video. I know some of you have seen it, you know. But I want other people to see it. There is a lady who is an overseas video. I think she's from the U.S. And she's in the hospital. And there is no tissue, no toilet paper. And she was reaching for one of the napkin. And listen what the nurse say. And watch the video. And after... You listen to what the video says. I am going to let you see what Dr. Christopher Tufton him clap back and say. Watch the video. Hold on, hold on. Where do you want this to go? I'm gonna use the bathroom. Yeah, this is I need, I need, I need, I need, so, I, need I need something to wipe, but I have to use the bathroom right now. Yeah, but you need to go. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. Yeah. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. Yeah, but this is not. And there's still no tissue in any of the bathrooms. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. I've been asking for tissue. No one's given me any tissue. I also need another diaper. I need another diaper and I need some tissue. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. Now she's mad because I'm using paper towels. What, am, what else am I supposed to do? Can I have a diaper, please? This shouldn't be like pulling teeth. I, I, this is. You don't provide those personal things for patients. How am I supposed to know that when I'm not from here? Okay, so somebody should have informed me. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So the nurse tell the lady that we do not provide those personal things for patients. When you hear what the nurse say, the nurse said that we do not provide those personal things for patients. So we are of the view or I am of the view that the nurse is saying they don't provide toilet paper because the lady was asking for toilet paper. The lady was asking for toilet paper. Remember, it's toilet paper the lady was asking for. And the nurse said that they don't provide those type of stuff for students. That is exactly 
what the lady says, Ivan Wallace, thank you so much for your super chat, sister Ivan Wallace. I'm not seeing the screen right now. I soon look on the screen and bless up the students. I'm just trying to find the article to put because you know, know over here so we don't tell any lie. We show you the, the, the information as it is. So, Minister Tufton, him clap back my viewers and subscribers. See it here? And this is what Minister Tufton has to say. When they saw the video, because we play the video, I will blast them over it. And you talking at the comments and cuss out them what's it not over it. And people are foreign to the video. And say, Lord Jesus, I saw Jamaica stay. No toilet paper in a hospital. No toilet paper. And the nurse said that we do not provide those things for patients. Now look here, sir. Dr. Christopher Tufton by your screen said, I have asked for an update on the matter to understand context and circumstances. You hear what I'm saying, no? Toilet paper is always provided for patients. So it's always telling the lie. The nurse says that we do not provide those stuff. And you're saying that toilet paper is always provided for the patients. So me want to ask a question. Let me put it over here, so then, Mr. Sir. It's always telling the lie, sir. It's always telling the lie. Is you telling the lie or is the nurses telling the lie? Well, on, students. The towels. What, am, what else am I supposed to do? Can I have a diaper, please? This shouldn't be like pulling teeth. I, I, this is. We don't provide those personal things for patients. Yeah, you hear that? We don't provide those personal things things for patients the nurse says we don't provide those personal things for patients but the health minister is saying toilet paper is always provided for patients and students call me and text me and say a topic i lie them i tell is lie them I tell. Enough time my mother there hospital and no toilet paper. Enough time my auntie there hospital and no toilet paper. My cousin, man said them baby mother. People said them friend. Some said them niece, them nephew. All oh, them people are so lie. How oh, them people are so lie. My viewers and subscribers, please remember, you know, let me, let me, let me remind you of something, you know. Remember that the, that the health sector, we've seen where people come out and say that there is no MRI machine. There is no CT scan. Remember, there is no bed. I play the video for you where people are sleeping on floors. And the man saying pay 500 Jamaican dollars. Five hundred dollar. The man said he went to the hospital, and there was no space for him to sleep on, and he had to pay five hundred dollars to get a piece of cardboard. And when he got the cardboard, him lay down on the cardboard and sleep. And we saw people sleeping in wheelchairs, sleeping on all sorts of something. So the people are not lying. So when the government is going to come out and say this, we believe the people, not the government, because the people are the one who experience this. Tell me if I lie, me I tell. Only hear the nurse say we do not provide those stuff. We do not provide those stuff. That is the question. We do not provide those stuff for patients. But the minister is saying toilet paper is always provided. I think this minister should resign. I think this health minister should resign. My viewers and subscribers, let me play one video for you, you know. Let me play one video. You know what I make a draw for the video? Because we clap him hard, you know, my viewers and subscribers. And him seem to keep clapping back. Him seem to keep clapping back. Because him know we turning up the pressure upon him. Well, and may I get one call? Lord Jesus, are we students ready for call and blaze the fire so early? Well, and Hello, good, good night. night. Welcome to the program. Lord, my brethren, I'm never ready for techno call yet, but it look like them, them story up. What do you have to tell Jamaica and the world? What's the topic for you now? 
Yeah, two little issues. The same issue that you have right now where the, the minister said them provide it, always provide for patient, but sometimes provided and request due to patient taking away one's place in the bathroom. But no, it was requested and it was not provided. It was requested and it and it didn't provide it uh, the lady asked for a tissue and it was not provided so that is the first issue the next issue is have you noticed that so many people have lost their money in these financial institutions and the minister of not the finance minister have not made any statement on the matter and as far as i heard it's it's running to lots of millions of dollars people have lost due to what's happening in the bank lots of people lost money and the minister of finance have not said anything anything on the matter so i'm just wondering what is going on well uh, uh, let me talk to you now about the first issue. I'm glad you, you expose it because the lady asks for it. They say, let, they, what he's trying yeah. to say is that it is always provided and sometimes they put it in the bathroom and patients take it away. All right, me could give them the benefit of the doubt. So if the patients take it away, that means they must have some in the storeroom. So this lady yeah. went to the nurse and she is requesting or asking or pleading Question. with them to exactly. give her toilet paper. So if toilet paper did dead, nurse would have give to guru on her back and take out toilet paper and say, lady, see toilet paper, you can government give with toilet paper. So because no never did here, the lady could not get any toilet paper. And it's a shame and disgrace because the lady is a visitor to Jamaica. And let me tell you what's the worst part about exactly. it, my brother. I heard a lot of people. I even heard Dr. Trisha Bailey, who is the richest Jamaican woman, who live overseas. And she said that one of the biggest things she's worried about is that Jamaica don't have a good health system. Because people like them, they will have them money. We can come in at Jamaica and create all kind of jobs. The people them afraid say if anything, um, them don't have good hospital to go back to. And this man, exactly. Mr. Christopher exactly. Tufton, who is at the head of the, of the health sector, the man is not a doctor, you know, brother. He never write one prescription yet, you know, never give one smaddy one injection yet, you know, never take out nobody teeth, you know. He not do nothing in a, in a doctor, you let, know. Let, just let me make one more point. Yes. Have you heard that, um, Portia Simpson, before she left up, she did get some funds to build another children hospital um and what the when she lost the election what this government did it, take the money and do other things with it and know what we want to do is to um donate one of the wards one of the wards down um of the Cornwall regional hospital for children which they were already got that money she did negotiate and got that money to build a new children hospital and they did not do it. So we are I know they to want to donate but, just but a while. I want to ask you a question, Carla. Where is the money? If Portia Simpson yeah. Miller, wala wala ande, if Portia Simpson Miller during her time as Prime Minister received some money to build the hospital, and they lost the election and the Jamaica Labour Party took over, why is it that we don't see the hospital, we are going to ask the government, where is the money? Prime Minister Devon, yeah. what have you done with the money? Yeah, that 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 just that just can we really need a children hospital right now. And the money was negotiated and, and it was donated. And that money did not build the hospital. They, they put that money somewhere, that money was somewhere who should don't know. That. You never know what if this government not talking to the people much. If yes. they live in the country, they're not telling you what they're going about and what they're doing. It's just, just silence. This government is a government that the people don't trust. There's nothing that the people trust them with. They don't trust them with health because, because everywhere, 
everywhere poor people are telling you that the hospital you have long wait no bed no this no nothing at all you know what was really shocking to me my brother the other day i saw a story coming from out of either westmoreland or Cornwall regional hospital where they were tidying a lady tidying a lady and wiping her up and everybody was looking up in the lady morning and evening because they had no privacy screen. You can imagine them cheap little paper, something like privacy screen. Them don't even have in the hospital, my brother. So when they say they don't have no, no tissue, I believe, I believe that they didn't have any tissue. Right now, I'm telling you, I'm afraid to go into the hospital right now. Right now, if I feel sick, I would rather stay at home and take my... Yes, I know that people afraid for going to the hospital because you were going there good, good, good. And because of them negligent, yeah. that kind of thing happened to you. Yeah. And then you lose your three pints. But anyway, my brother, thank you so much for the call. Big up yourself. All and right. Thank you for calling, yeah, man. Big up, big up, big yeah. up. Yes, yes. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. My brethren, no easy. You know, Mr. Man, just call for give him part of the lesson. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, while we're still on the topic, look here again. See, Mr. Minister Christopher Tufton him clap back. You know what I'm saying? Current situation at the Western Regional Health Authority Warehouse in Montego Bay. You know what I'm saying? Over 1,700 cases of domestic tissue in stock. 1,500 cases on order. They are distributed weekly to all hospitals. No shortages. Mr. Christopher Tufton, you're proving to me and my students that you're listening to us. Yes, man. You prove to me, Mr. Tufton, that you cut your ears over ya. We're proving to me, Mr. Tufton, that you and the members of your JLP party who cut your ears over here at night time, who come over here at night time and who listen to what a topic have to say and who listen to what me and my students have to say. But at least who listening and I wanted to listen to this. Jamaica going vote to out. Uno catch you no ears and uno listen. Make I tell you this. Listen up good. Jamaica going vote to no out because I'm tired of the corruption. My brothers and subscribers, I want to know to listen to this video. Because Mr. Christopher Tufton him fling video. Him bring out video. Him say a lie. We are tell Pani Master. So him bring out video for sure. Same of toilet paper. Uno watch this video, yeah, my brothers and subscribers. Watch the video. Look here. Uno look here. I'm not sure the TCA, you know, my viewers and subscribers. I'm going to ask you a question now, Mr. Tufton. If you never come over here and cuss you and rub you out and tell you the things that might make you look bad, you wouldn't show we say tissue there. And even if tissue is there in the warehouse, that did not prove to us that tissue was in the hospital at the time because tissue can be in the warehouse, but it was not delivered to the hospital. So proving to us that you have tissue in a warehouse that don't mean nothing and you could have go buy the tissue the next day you could have sent go buy the tissue the next day so no come go on like you want to pull no tricks and no stunt pan we because we are not fools in my viewers and subscribers let me play the video for you and then i read some comments let me play the video for you my viewers and subscribers the man do video and show we same of toilet paper for kill watch out <music> Let me play back one more time. I'm gonna look here, look here. You showing all these tissues, Mr. Man, don't prove nothing. It doesn't prove anything. You 
you showing all these tissues, Mr. Man, don't prove nothing. Because you could have go buy the tissue them the day after we curse you. You could have go buy the tissue the day after we curse. And even if the tissue was in the was in the warehouse, warehouse different from Pan Ward. We saw a video that there was no tissue on the ward. So when you bring out this video showing us tissue, what are you expect us going to say? Oh, <laughs> rubbish, rubbish. That's all I have to say. Students, please remember to like up the button. Please remember to hit the like button, my viewers and subscribers. Please remember to hit the like button, all right? And if you like the class and you appreciate the class, remember that you can feel free to hit the super chat and send a look of blessings into the class, all right? If you appreciate the class or you appreciate everything or you like the vibes, please remember to hit the super chat, my viewers and subscribers, and send a little blessing in the, 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 the class. Let me read some, some, some comments here. Joan Morris said, I'm back. I believe the nurse there is no tissue in hospital. Of course, I don't like the nurse that tell Joan, no, no, no toilet paper never in there. No toilet paper never in there. Them can't tell we no lie. Uh, uh, what is it now? Yvonne Wallace, thank you so much for the super chat. Yvonne says, still trying to figure out how to get my range, but I can't find the option to become one member despite assistance from some classmates. Well, Yvonne, say, me put you as your range. So, Yvonne, congratulations, you get your range. You ask Peter, and you get it. That's what the Bible say. Pretty, pretty say, what a shame, mighty God. That's true. True, loveless, unstoppable blessings. K. Spencer, did anybody hear the nurse said that this is not America? Me never hear when she said this is not America. I know I heard when she said, do you know where you are? Jamaica. That's what I heard. K. Spence, Jean Wright said, the nurse must come out and apologize. Florence, I sanction what the lady just said. From I was little growing up. They used to sing the song, say, Shad and Banana, Shira, mash up the country, and sh with Shad and Banana. What them Shad, sister? Florence Brown said, but it is a fact. When you have family members in the hospital, you have to bring those things. Kiara said, I am back. Welcome back. Nicola said, thank you, Ivan, for the super chat. Christine Phillips said, mighty God. Ivan Wallace said, so shameful and embarrassed. It is. Shameful and embarrassed too. Ivan Wallace. Egla Fletcher said, tough and is a doctor of importing rice. Where's our rice, man? You know, easy, you know, Andrea White said, this is not good for a hospital. Don't have toilet paper, not good. That can't be good, sister. Rosemary Robinson said, blessed love everyone. Maria Williams said, she didn't ask for pads. It is toilet paper she asked for. Florence Brown said, my niece was admitted to KPH recently, and I have to buy those toiletries for her. Well, I show, I show the people in my talk, hear the people in my talk in the comments here. Marjorie Lewis said, that nurse never act intelligent. She should help the lady toilet paper. That's what I'm saying. If you are a nurse, yes, he says somebody come from overseas, even for take like a shame out of Jamaica, yeah. take like the, 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 the toilet paper where you have or where the nurse have and give the lady, no? No, you play hard and, and not give the lady no toilet paper and see it become a big issue there. For the minister, play a trick spa, we know, I push out video. I born, I said, look at the last sentence out oh, tough and bright. Tough and across is Maria said the health department, she gave the hospital ticket. No man, I won't read. We never read so far. Yes. Florence said blatant lie. Stacey Antonia said the hospital is a public place. Why can't you record them? Stacey Antonia said record them. Them say there's no, them say there's a hospital policy that says you can't record. And I can understand because a hospital is a very sensitive place. And people who are ill don't necessarily want people to see them in their worst state while being ill. So I do agree that you're not supposed to video in a hospital. But sometimes you have to video them. Especially when injustices like this are um, you have to video them because if you don't video them, there will be no evidence. And if it's your word against their word, they're going to lie and you're always going to lose. So when your back is against the wall, back out your phone and video them. That's all me have to say. Ricardo Mari said, tough tongue a liar. JP said, the nurse spoke the truth. Stacey Ann said, set a dunce, but Janice Keen said, they do not. Patients have to take their personal items. I know that for sure. Beverly Alexander said, tough tongue, lie and wicked. Maria said, oh, health department shut down Crab Circle and a lockdown hospital for this unsanitary situation. A true your talk. Christopher De Souza said, 199 US for toilet paper. 199 But see, they, them show, we say them have toilet paper. Venus Sang said, ask the government, Jamaica, a topic. We are asking them for true. I banner said, there is no tissue for patient. Him lying. People in Kingston, this... 
Know this, we have to provide for ourselves. Worse over Jubilee, if you are give birth. And your wife said, I believe both of them telling lie. JP said, they ought to be exposed. Time come. Nearly said, good night, my ratted cup. I never know we can't use phones in hospital. Welcome, nearly. I saw them say, Andrea Marat said, Jamaica hospital gone to the dogs. Oh my God. Welcome, Andrea Marat. How you doing? Calligraphy said, them quick for say, it is against hospital policy to record in hospital. So if people don't record, who will believe them? A true yard talk, setting with Alice. If Nadine never record Alice, who would I believe? We have to back out the phone. And we need freedom for record wherever, especially when we feel that injustice is happening. Maria de Souza, Maria said at the Souza 125 in New York, and that's for the best toilet paper. Pamela James said there's no toilet paper or drink it water in the hospital. It is it my sister was in the hospital. See, there's somebody else saying that their family was in the hospital. Joan Mar said the health minister is a liar. No tissue. Christopher Tufton, everybody believe you're lying. Jenny Stewart said blessings, everyone. Altia Jones said the lie minister of health is wicked. Christopher de Souza said, thanks, Maria. Maria said, my friend is listening and he's shocked. Big up your friend, Maria. Thanks so much, Maria, friend, for listening. All right? Pat W said, that's a lie because my grandmother usually go to dialysis in Mobe and it happens to went to her and no toilet paper was in the bathroom. Lie the matter. See there? Somebody else said, JP said, immediately teacher, resign now. Lady J said, good night. Wayne said, who needs toilet paper in Jamaica when you have so many bushes in Jamaica we can use? Lord Jesus. K. Spencer, true caller and no statement on you not being able to get your money at the ATM. My viewers and subscribers, that is a topic that we're going to touch on, you know. That NCB, because I received some videos of quite a number of people I have seen a video with about 7 or 8 people saying NCB thief 62,000, 300,000, 40,000, 80,000, 90,000. NCB, why on a thief in poor people money? Because you have to call this thief. You have to call it thief. Because if money coming out of your account and you didn't give anybody permission, it's thief. If money coming, if something coming out of somewhere and you don't give somebody permission, it is a thief. T, T, thief. Call it whatever you want to call it. Okay. Maria said, it is a lie. The, the nurse telling, oh, let me read some comments now. Steve Madden said, good night, one and all. How are you doing, Steve? Andrew Berg said, good night, teacher and classmates. Again, Tufton can't do better. The lie, a rub off on him. K. Spencer is a liar and thief afraid of recording. Vernon Mitchell said you can use phone but no photographs or videos. Yvonne Wally said Lord Jesus at class prefect. How a class prefect say? Patricia Kelly says some small fish name so. Starboy said just coming from Talk Your Mind show and Chopper John board up the show with him lies. Well big up yourself Starboy. Welcome to the class. Stacey and Stoner said the nurse is overworked and underpaid. We have to see with her. Plus that mask is making her sick. She needs some fresh air. Okay. Florence said, I believe Shad is something like salt mackerel. Doreen Horton said, after all the money them escaped from America, them couldn't grant the visitors a courtesy and give her two sheets of toilet paper. A wickedness, Doreen. Wickedness. Maria Williams said, yes, sometimes the video is your only help. That is right. Starboy said, good night, a topic and member. Students said, us big up Starboy and welcome him to the class. Florence Brown said, the nurse did act in, didn't act intelligent. Egla said, Shad is a type of fish. I born said, Jamaica, a topic I think the nurse long time this for go public florence brown say yes she says this is not america i never hear that gene Wright say on a wholesale a private pharmacy stacy and sona say make sure to pray every night for freedom from these corrupt monsters calligraphy say it wouldn't have been awesome if he personally went to see the young lady when staff know the ministry could pop in anytime, it keeps them staff in check. That's true. Althea Jones said, which will sell this? The government will sell Massa. Bev Evans say, yes, that's what she said at Topic. And it is now that is going on. Yes, Florence said, yes, she had a bad experience. She will never come back to Jamaica. Jean writes, a plastic rice. Maria said, where's my wrench at Topic? Well, wrench, so run, sister, wrench, so run. Patricia Kelly says, so where is... Was it when the lady asking for it? Venus sang that the staff are the ones making items. Patricia Kelly said, yes, they must be here too. 
Maria said, I think the employees and nurses stealing the toilet paper and blaming it on the patients. Well, the nurses will take one and few, but patients will steal it too. But there must be constant monitoring for knowing when toilet paper running in and toilet paper running out. That's all I have to say. Stacey and Stone have said, those in the diaspora, please come home and register to vote. The JLP are not going to willingly give up power. Tell them for me. Joy McKenzie said, true, a topic. Planeta Thompson says, stock just arrived. Big up, Planeta. Vernon said, does the Ministry of Health have a warehouse and where is it located? Ask Christopher Tufton. Beverly Alexander said, I believe the nurse should not lie in. Althea Jones said, when you sick at Jamaica, boil bush. Stacey and Stone said, classmates, register to vote. Class prefect said, one man make toilet paper and another have tons of tissue. Lord Jesus. Leroy Campbell said, welcome class prefect. Leroy Campbell said, but it's the nurse said that they don't stop dusting in the hospital. Conflicting stories. Kimona said, tissue are for staff only, not for patients. That is wickedness. Planeta said, the tissue is new stock. Judith Love Park said, teacher is a long time. Video they took of those tissue when they arrived in 1999. <laughs> Murder. My brothers and subscribers, look on the screen. You know, easy, you know, Judith said that the video is from 1999. Judith, you know, easy, you know. Big up to each and every person who just come out of the class. Blessings to you. My brothers and subscribers, we're going to be moving into the next topic. Class prefect say, at Jamaica, a topic, how much you have bet say, if that was a white tourist, they would have been over backwards to find the tissue for give her a true yard talk. But white tourists are black tourists. People must get tissue in a hospital. JP said the caller is speaking the truth, asked the government. Wayne Anglin said he should be locked up for he is not a doctor. We say forget lock up. Nadilisha said good morning, Mr. Murder, watching from England, Essex. Big up US yourself and big up the whole of England, big up the whole of Essex. Blessings to everybody on the live. My brothers and subscribers, we know say a lie them at tell. But anyway, we are going to move into the next topic. Because all them do is walk and tell a pair lie left, right, and center, left, right, and center. My viewers and subscribers, uh, this is another hot topic that has been making waves all around. And I've seen photographs of the gentleman. I've seen photographs, but I don't have the video, all right? I don't have the, 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 the photographs right now. But I want to put up on your screen your next hot topic, my viewers and subscribers. It is alleged that seven men escaped... From the jail cell, my viewers and subscribers, seven men escaped from the jail cell or there was a jail break at the Oracle base of Christopher Tufton. Come off of, me, come off of the screen. You and your line set of people, come off of the screen, my viewers and subscribers. You and your line set of people, come off of the screen. And let me get into the next topic. On your screen, my viewers and subscribers, is an article from the Jamaica Star. And it's saying seven inmates escaped from Oracle Besa police station. And this brings me to the next topic. My brothers and subscribers, then I saw jail at Jamaica easy for Brokota. I want to ask you a question, my brothers and subscribers. Is it so easy to break out a jail in a Jamaica? It looks like evil. The rat can break out a jail, the dog. Talk to me, my brothers and subscribers. Dynamite said, I was admitted to KPH for eight months and I brought my tissue right through that time. Charmaine Montague said, night, night, classmates. So you doing, Charmaine Montague? Blessing still. Jean Wright said, people need to walk with an axaw when them going to the ATM. Do to the machine as them do to the bamboo rafting. If they're not getting any money from the machine, you know, easy, you know, Altia Jones, blessings to you. Current, current, say, calling the feds and the banks. The banks, them are wicked. That's why them have to be protecting that's why them protecting the banks and my viewers and subscribers. And that's why the people them up at SS smell will never go to jail, my viewers and subscribers. Because they have secrets of the government. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, we're going to be talking about this right here. So why is it that jail is so easily to get out of jail in a Jamaica? Oh, it's so easy to get out of jail in a Jamaica, my viewers and subscribers. That is the question I ask. Is it really easy or is it that money appear and they might let out the man them? That is the question I want to ask. Director of Public Prosecutions. That is the question I want to ask you, my viewers and subscribers. And they talk to me, no? 
doing angling so I'll let them let them out me believe so you know I believe so I'll let them let my viewers and subscribers every minute you hear so one that jail get broke out uh. so my viewers and subscribers if you are the minister of national security and you are the the, the police commissioner I just see one jailbreak happen one is one too many one is one too many tell the truth now if I realize that I have one jailbreak, I would have ensured that there is an inspection at all of the jailmen for make sure say them fully tighten up and secure up. But one um, then a next one um, then a next one um. This come like the beryllium, then my viewers and subscribers. Would you agree? This jailbreak come like the bag of beryllium, them. I born as a Jamaica hot topic talk your mind. TV did a warn me months now. Same so get a little biddy. Be be de, we tell him jailbreak and see it they happen there. Okay, so you said talk your mind was saying that he heard that there will be lots of jailbreak, but said no broke out. Money makes the mail run. Lord Jesus, my God. So you believe Pats are paid them get paid for let out the man them. Even Wally said, Look, I have a wrench. Lord Jesus, big up yourself. Even uh, even the Bible say, ask and it shall be given in us. Seek and it shall find and you ask. So it was given. K. Spence said, it is easy because the police not getting paid and it's Christmas. Some money run. A true. Remember, we heard of incidents where police would have let out the man for weekend for go home, go work him, woman, and go drink him beer and bud him spliff and go and dance and come in back Monday. Man. <laughs> Murder. My viewers and subscribers, you hear what I say? In a Jamaica, you know, man in a lockup, you know, and pay police money, you know, and police let out, man, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, man go and spend weekend a yard and come back Monday, man. In Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers, Jamaica is worse than a party shop. Doreen Horton said, I born and raised in Jamaica, left there some 30 something years. I am not visiting any country like that. Like proper health care to include Jamaica, Lord Jesus. But if you give Jamaica a chance, sister, Dorian, make I tell you something, Dorian. Do you know that you have big hospital in a Jamaica, one when you have to it wings? The other day I, I showed my, my class, my students them over here on the class, you know. That hospital, it come like one nice hotel. They ask you if you want double occupancy or single occupancy. Doreen, listen to me. You see, in that hospital, when you have 22 twins with up at the, up at the university hospital, a prime minister's sick will go up there, so, you know, and a 50,000 or 70,000 per night for staying in one of them rooms, you know. You get nice fancy food like a hotel there. You get all closet. Closet, closet in a hospital and big screen TV. So if you have up your good, good money and you're sick, you can run, go up at 22 hospital and run, go and uh, uh, Andrews or medical associates. But 22 hospital where big top prime minister go. So if you have your money, you can go there, Doreen. But if you don't have the money, you have to go up public and KPH. I'm sorry for you. I just attack the truth. Maria Williams said that's the only People that will benefit from the cashless, the bank. Altia Jones said that lady lucky she get newspaper. Nia Brian said that's too many. But it's a Christmas, you know. Them hungry poor need money. So you're of the views so I pay them get pay. Carleen Salomon said me believe that too. Said them let them out. Welcome to the class, Carleen Salomon. How you doing? My brothers and subscribers, everybody has said that the money them get. Kyle Graff said, actually, and Steven said, I believe you 100%. Some I know was at the same hospital, and I almost fainted when I heard about the listing of things and filing your and filling your own prescription. Yes, Master. When time you go to hospital, you have got to fill your own prescription. Welcome to Jamaica. Maria Williams said, money run, so prisoner get out, let out, simple. Near brain said, birdie. Florence Brown said, I think the bank outsourcing some of these jobs to call center should not happen because I strongly believe that the call center workers are working with this camera. As a true, the call center workers, they may have access to them. They are the other one, them. They are the other one, but the next one of them night, I go and fix them business personally. Wait. One of them night, I go and take up the banking business. And I want everybody who have money missing call and make a cause and talk up for our rights. NCB never look and say, boy, Jamaica only been a good customer. I go and give everyone a one want 10,000, but them quick for teeth your money. Egla Fetcher said, money run, it's Christmas. Near Brent said, talk your mind, said it. Karen, Karen, say, oh, wait, Karen, what are we the comments? I move fast. Karen, Karen, say, talk your mind. 
and bullshit walk out loud. Or money talk and bullshit walk out oh, oh me here, yeah. You know, easy, you know, Venus and say politician, hitmen, them, there is money to be made. Maria Williams said probably with the same inspector making the call to free the men. I true, because sometimes the inspector, them have them, Lord Jesus, but me never talk about for them business, Master. Dwayne Angley said, where is the police guard? Nothing don't go like that. Dwayne, after we are no idiot, we might never go Sunday, we, we might remember, so we go Saturday school and Sunday school over this class. We never go university, and them alone have sense, but we have common sense. Where the guard, the seven man run one time and nobody not here. It looked like Sir Jesus appeared by night. Class prefect said, what Mr. Krabs from Bikini Bottom and Dr. Krabs in having Kadam, having common. I don't know. The two of them love money. I'll tell you, Jones said, money run. But who get paid? Ask them for me, Master. Ivan Wally said, thanks, guys. Me get rotted cups. I saw you happy over the wrench. I want to watch it not this year. Ivan, me never know I saw the wrench mean so much to you. Well, I'm glad you get your rich, <laughs> Ivan. My viewers and subscribers, let us welcome Ivan Wallace as our moderator. Ivan has been asking for our wrench, and we give her our, our wrench, and Ivan is so happy. It looked like Christmas come early for Ivan. Clifford Atkins, Clifton Atkins is a money run. Big up teacher and my classmates. What go on, Clifton? How you doing? Where is say money run, Clifton? Doreen Harton said, no, not me, my love. When me seek America, my insurance pay for me. Well, when a Jamaica, you'd have got to take out money to watch it, not. And your wife said, I don't believe anything like that could happen to send the men home and come back. I, I still can't believe that. And Jay, what do you? Well, all of the things I'm in a Jamaica, where you eat. Remember, so Jamaica is not a real place, you know, Andrea. Remember, Jamaica is not a real place. So everything that sounds strange, it will happen in Jamaica. Jean writes, so please read them, review them are scammers. Check them review. Lord Jesus. Jennifer Daly said, bless up yourself at Topic. Happy holidays to you, family. Happy holidays to you, too. Calligraph said, if you're traveling, just make sure you also purchase the absolutely best travel health insurance if you're going to Jamaica. Lord Jesus. George would also say, good night to all my brothers and sisters. Blessings, brother George. How are you doing? Karen, Karen say, that's what is going on with the one with Donna Lee. Oh, I know we'll meet Lanya talk about Oh, Jesus, I'll tell you, John say, them make the jail the make out a rotted cup. Well, and the well, my viewers and subscribers, me just pick up something. So, Karen, so basically, what you are saying is that Noel I get let out of jail for a weekend to forgo, forgo look woman and go get front and come back home. Is that what you're saying, Karen? My viewers and subscribers, it, I mean, I jump here, kind of from you have your money and you pay the police, then them I let you out, you know. I yeah, go out, go get your front. And go drink a special and go do something and come back in when a time for go quarter jail for check. When you stay there, remember say this is Jamaica. I'll tell you say the jail they make out a clear. Clear strong, strong something, sister. Ivan Wallace say she also said that it's not America. I am pretty sure she knew she was not in America. Rude. Yeah, that was rude of her for true. But said too much hypocrisy in the Jamaican system. Velma Hall said that was no escape. That was surely a set. What? That was surely I set them free plan for some reason or other. True, we are no idiot, Velma. Maxwell Williams said laugh out loud is long. Long time they've been releasing these guys to go out and get back in. See them my viewers and subscribers. So in case you think it's a lie, hear people in the comments are talk about it there. Doreen Harden said Jamaica, now get none of my money. Well, you have to remember, so Jamaica, you're born and grow sister, and that's where stick behind you. So you're now family at Jamaica, yeah. Peggy Cena said, good evening, friends. Maria Williams said, when you travel to Jamaica, buy extra insurance. Oh, God, Maria, you had your Jamaica bad. Pat said, yes, I have insurance in USA, but my family live in Jamaica, so it bothers me. Even Wally said, that is absolutely true. Calligraphy, we did that this summer while my family and I were in Jamaica. We were advised to purchase insurance to a lie. So they're so telling you to purchase insurance when you come to Jamaica. Then I said, they have Jamaica bad. Feniger, how are you doing, Feniger? Feniger said, Chapa is a dangerous element. You mean... You invited people onto Jeffrey's program, no integrity. Uh, what do you mean you now? You mean you invited people onto Jeffrey's program? I uh, would that now. Uh, what do you mean now, Feniger? Even while he say enough to be flown out of the country, Dynamite said the minister is in the wrong ministry to cause chaos in order to carry out the new world. Allah, Jesus. Maria Williams said that's probably what's happening, and the men didn't run. So they claim it was a jailbreak. All right, my viewers and subscribers. 
enough of this jailbreak thing. We're going to ask you a question. And I, and I crave, I crave your attention and I crave your participation at this moment. My viewers and subscribers, here's your first task for the night. The first task of the night that I'm going to ask you, my viewers and subscribers, we are almost at the end of the year. Yes, we're at the end of the year, my viewers and subscribers. I want to ask you a question. I want you to pause for a moment and think and tell me, throughout the year in Jamaica, there has been a lot of murders, a lot of crime, where one person have lost their life, multiple people have lost their lives. And, you know, there was a lot of time that we were taken aback. But I want to ask you a question, and, and it is a reason why I'm asking you the question. Can you think for a moment and then type in the comments and tell me which crime or which murder which happened throughout the year that you would say that has been one of the worst murders that has happened in Jamaica for the, for the last decade or five years or whatever it is. Let me repeat the task. I want one of my students, or I want a few of my students to pause for a moment and I want you to think back from January to December. We've heard a lot of murders where one person lost their life, two person, three person, four person lost their lives. I want you to tell me and type in the comments one of the worst murders that you've ever heard that has happened in Jamaica within this year is a specific reason I ask you for, for think about it. Type in the comments and I'm going to read the comments because we are going to expose my hypocrite friend she. I'm going to expose my hypocrite friend she, the one who cost me about my split teeth. We are going to expose my split teeth. So students, remember, I want you to pause and I want you to think. Throughout the year in Jamaica, there has been several murders. Which one would you say has been the worst that you've ever seen. But why are you typing at the comments? Somebody said Daniel Rowe. Daniel Rowe was bad, yes. Well, continue to let me know. But there is others. There is others. Type in at the comments and tell me. I'm going to read it out. And you will see at the end. Why I ask you to do this. Because I'm going to say. If we don't, are we a hypocrite? Type in at the comments and tell me. Type in the comments, my viewers and subscribers, and tell me. Let me read some comments right here, so. Maria said that's probably what happened and the men didn't return, so they claim it was a breakout. Patrick Campbell said, talk about travel insurance. I had it in Canada three weeks ago. Will not get on flight again without it. George Woodhouse said, yes, I true. Peggy Cena said, then a topic you didn't know that Noel is out on weekend. God knows where this guy is at night and who else is looking for to keep you. Yeah. Lord Jesus, serious people at Jamaica. Where you say so? so you have proof Peggy said Noel no say them let out Noel out at night time and weekend. So Noel Maitland who take Danali life wanna say him him dip on road at night time. Me hear about it in my videos and subscribers, but I never sure. I hear about it and Noel Maitland, the policeman who take Danali three pints. I hear same that road for two. I hear same that road, but I do have no proof fight, my viewers and subscribers. I love when I want to find one picture send come give me. Jenny Stewart's a teacher. Whenever you are going to hospital, you have to pack toilet to see in your bag. Me know that, but it's a shame and disgrace. Maria Williams say, yes, I never buy whatever, whatever, whatever. Andrea White say, okay, that's why Jamaica will never better. I learn a lot on your show. Thanks for learning, Andrea. Calligraph said, Jamaica, a topic, even with Canada, I purchase travel insurance between the provinces. Not everything is covered. But I want to ask about the murders, them now, my viewers and subscribers. Let me hear which murder you thought was one of the worst for the years. Doreen said, Daniel Rowe. Somebody else said, Daniel Rowe. Mark Smith said, the baby. Maria. Oh, Jean Wright said, Paul will be a mother. K. Spence said, the family. And just said, Paul will be a mother. Uh, Daniel Rowe, the little girl. But say, the Paul will 10 month old baby who received four cans and her mother. Paul Wells daughter and baby mother. Some people say, Paul Well, Shami Mantaki said, then a topic, 10 Tory in a one. The principal get locked up for the birth of death. My mama, Tony, Lord Jesus. Yes, 
Maria, we uh, Charmaine, we spoke about it earlier on, you know, and I even put up the picture for the bursa. Said the bursa, but people have said that the bursa and the principal, the massa, I don't know it go. I don't know it go. I want you to tell me the facts. Calligraphy said five family members by a cousin. Calligraphy, this is what I thought Cali was the worst one. Where five family members were, were, were lost their three pints because of one man take five people three pints. Anybody remember that down in a Clarendon, the lady and her, and her mother? The lady and her baby them? Anybody remember the lady and her baby them will lose them three pints in a Clarendon? Patrick Campbell said, oh yes, Maria Florence Brown said, Philip Falwell, daughter and her mother. Well, how many people been saying Philip Falwell, daughter and her mother? And my viewers and subscribers, well, when me did hear the story, my viewers and subscribers, I was saying that I hear my friend she, let me just get directly into the story. Well, apparently, some of you share the same views as my split teeth friend, Miss Paula. But anyways, my viewers and subscribers, I still have to play it because I said I was going to play it. I wait the video there. Miss Paula, she, my viewers and subscribers, our split teeth friend who someone loves so much. Miss Paula, she, I was listening to over mouthpiece because it was a mouthpiece at the government teeth and tongue. A mouthpiece have links with everybody. Mouthpiece have everybody number pass pass speed dial. So I was listening to mouthpiece talking with our split teeth friend Paula with someone who loves so much massa. And I heard her talking about uh, a murder that she said was one of the the one that she says was the most gruesome. Direct and that murder was indeed Philip Paulwell and him daughter. But I was I was saying to myself in my opinion, that was definitely not the worst because that was at least two people that lost their lives. And it was a quick instance for the most part where the man just take out him pie pie and take them three points. But I was of the view that that is not the worst. But when I look in the comments, I realize that some of you are of the view that that was of the worst too. Because I was listening to Miss Paula and Paula, she was saying that it the worst. I mean, I said, Paula, oh, you're so wicked and hypocrite, my friend. Look for when the one young man take five people pints. Look for when the little eight-year-old girl lose her three pints. But anyway, some people are saying, yes, Paula, you're, you're, you're Miss World, she teacher, you're a split teeth girlfriend. Yeah, mix up, you know, you did have to say that to you. Me have to say the, the, the split teeth lady have to borrow out my girlfriend. Lord Jesus, you yeah, mix up, you know. Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, let us listen to what Paula did that say. In the beginning, me that cuss her out, say she mix up. In the beginning, me that cuss her out, say Paula, you a hypocrite because there has been worse other murders and you keep on saying this is the worst. But I realize some of you people type in the comments and say it is the worst too. So that means like, it look like some of you have to go so hard because some of you think the same things like her. But anyway, let us listen to her quickly and we move on to the next topic. Listen to her at Gal Paula. So listen to her. Director of Public Prosecutions Paul the Llewellyn says the kidnapping and murder of Philip Paula's 10-month-old daughter Soraya and her mom, Tashina Patterson, is the most distressing case she has prosecuted in her career. She made the revelation on Thursday while speaking on Cliff Hughes Online. Roby and Williams reports. Paula Llewellyn was appointed as Clerk of Court in the St. James Resident Magistrates Court in 1984. She acted as DPP from 1999 to 2003 when she was formally appointed to the post. But what I'm going to do subscribers, anybody did know say that girl Paula did a DPP from 1999 to 2003? Me never know say so at girl, at girl Paula. So you never tell me that. Oh, when me and you have the look of you, look of conversations where we have Paula. You never tell me say they are DPP from 1999 to 2003. Mind your hide things from me, no Paula. What what you hiding from me, Sister Paula? Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, you listen to this information because we have a long way to go, my viewers and subscribers. Listen to this information, all right? 1999 to 2003. Paula Llewellyn was appointed as Clerk of Court in the St. James Resident Magistrates Court in 1984. 
She acted as DPP from 1999 to 2003 when she was formally appointed to the post. She says over this long career, she, she has, has never, never had to work on a more disturbing and upsetting case than the one involving baby Soraya Powell and her mother, Tashina Patterson. When we were dealing with the Powell issue... And you're, you're out of split teeth now? You're out of split teeth and talk of the things like she out girl on the wall, see out no for no for with our split teeth. Here are... A Powell issue. As Mr. Bailey said, DCP Bailey, mm -hmm. in all of my career, I've never had to deal with those sort of allegations. And he said it, it, it's one of the worst I've seen. So you have a split screen. A half of you is appalled and shocked like everybody else at the allegation. The other half, and I and my team, are working long hours. We are there in the evening, into the night, meeting with the police. It is the pure professional. And then we did some tough key negotiation. So it takes a toll. Because, again, you, you wonder about the human condition. But on the other hand, you're trained. Your commitment to duty, sacrificing yourself. You just have to do what you have to do. Four people were arrested and charged in connection with the brutal murders. Me, that's a boy. Polly, me, when me hear me, that's a Polly, you know, say I want to mix up and you're wicked. Remember, say five people lose them life one point in time and you are going to say this are the worst. Me never think this are the worst. Was it because it was Paul Wells' baby mother why people considered it the worst? I never thought it to be the worst. You know, we have, and it just goes to show that we have different views. What you think is might be the worst, I might not think it is the worst. But why I will step down is because some of you guys said that you thought it was the worst. So that's why I'm mean, not rub Paul too hard. But when me did hear, she say that this was the worst. I said, what a woman wicked... Because when the five people them lose them life, oh, you never said that was the worst. And me think that was the worst by far. But anyway, my brothers and subscribers, yes, man, see me have some for talk, but now we are going to talk tonight. My brothers and subscribers, class, I got nice, and you know, let me tell you why. We are going to talk about Devon. Uh, oh, everybody knows that Devon corrupt. My brothers and subscribers, everybody knows that Devon corrupt, you know. Everybody in the world knows that Devon corrupt by now, my viewers and subscribers. We are going to talk about some corruption that has placed Devon administration, my viewers and subscribers. And this is something that I wanted us to take some time to divulge into my viewers and subscribers. As students, please remember that at the end of the class, I'm saving the best story for last. The best story is Everal Warmington expose Andrew Olness. So, here, Mr. My viewers and subscribers, I am going to make on the play. I am going to play the recording. I am going to play the recording and make you and you hear what Everal Warming attack say. And want to tell me if a true Everal Warmington attack. On the here, Mr. My viewers and subscribers, I am going to play the video. Not the video, the recording, when Everal warming attack the things them and me want to no cock on the ears, me want to no push up on the antenna and tell me if it's true Everal warming attack, Everal warming to attack, alright? Yes, my viewers and subscribers, calligraphy says she sound like man, Lord Jesus, she want to hear, mind she send them for you, Jean writes a witch man that talking, Lord Jesus, so says she sound like man, Florence say her tongue heavy like lead, she sound like man royal, and leave at girl parlor alone. Charmaine said, just because Paula PNP, but Paula is a snake in the grass. Paula, look, Paula, labor right now, Massa. I that you know. Peggy Cena pull her message, says, and soon I said, committed to duty, no commitment to power. Karen, Karen said, Paula, wallet full, my goodness. Yes, Paula, at girl Karen, Fergie, Ferg said, good night, at topic and listeners. Fergie, Ferg, I've not seen you in class for the longest while. Where have you been? Jay Summers said, good night, everybody. Says and Tony said, aren't there any competent prosecutors under 95 years old? Lord? <laughs> Paul and I reached 95 yet. Jay Summers said, I'm late. Guard said, big up me, who you block. I didn't block your guard. I put you in timeout today because you made a statement I did not appreciate. It's a public platform. You can't talk that, but me I eat them something. They must have come in and them something there. Now run them joke there, the guard. I don't play them joke, them a general. You see me? But anyway, out of respect, I can move on into the next topic. My viewers and subscribers, because I am going to be exposing some corruptions of the JLP administration. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, 
I am going to be showing you the timeline of the JLP. I may go show you some things. Well, I'm going to do as I said. You know, so I'm going to show you the this first. Sorry, let me put that video here right to the side here. So bear with me, the students, all right? Because I have something important to show you guys. The first video I'm going to show you is where some people are cussing out the van about him corruption. Look here, my viewers and subscribers. You know what I'm going to say? When I go say all of my viewers and subscribers, please remember to hit the like button, students. Please remember to hit the like button. And remember the super chat is open. If you appreciate the class or you have a little thing and you want to send it, just hit the super chat button and send a look of 5 or 10 or 20. Anything you have, hit the super chat button and bless up the super chat. All right, my viewers and subscribers, class is going to get very interesting now because we're going to talk about the man who you all love so much. Jamaica has so entered an unprecedented era. Let me put in a bro guard on the screen, my viewers and subscribers. You know where it's soon a bro guard, yeah? The case of corruption against brother Devon. See, tell my viewers and subscribers, class just a go start, you know? Class just a go start, my viewers and subscribers, because we touch on brother Devon now. And we know that when we talk about brother Devon, some people might get in their feelings. But we ask, you're not to get in your feeling. Listen to this, my viewers and subscribers. I saw this video online and I said I wanted to share the video with you. The title of the video is called The Case of Corruption Against Devon. The title of the video is called The Case of Corruption Against Devon. All right? Big up on the cell, Peggy Sina say, Ivan, night, night, Andrea White say, I believe I need my popcorn. Yes, you're going to need a popcorn because I am going to play this. Let me just mess up some people. Shamil Montague say, Paul, well, not Paula. Maxwell Williams says she's damn right because he's our friend. Don't forget them party at times. Uh, Upperclassmen, them, and all they, and they all connect. How about the women and our children and still even several terrible ones? Sexy Fat say he never went to the funeral for her daughter. Welcome, Sexy Fat. How are you doing? Velma all said, I sent you a message from Flo. Let me know if you got it. All right, sister. Well, I will look at the message. Juliet. Uh, Campbell said, I don't know if she's laughing or smiling. And easy enough, Velma said, top up sent. Okay, thanks, Velma. Sophia Maxwell said, blessings. Lorna Gordon said, Lorna Gordon said, good night. How you doing, sister Lorna? Blessings to you are welcome. Just a come in. My brothers and subscribers, we are going to listen now. And, and we're going to be focusing on brother Devon. Listen to what this clip has to say about Devon and the corruption and I want you to tell me what you think all right my viewers and subscribers and please remember to hit the like button come on students put the like over 200 there's almost five there's 500 odd people in the live come on students I need 10 more people there are 20 more people to hit the like button come students man if you don't want to see the video with Devon now I need 10 more students to hit the like button 10 more students to hit the like button and students, please remember that the super chat is open. Feel free to send a look at thing in at the super chat. All right, send a look at thing and bless up the super chat, man. All right, and students, please hit the like button. All right, watch this video with Brother Devon now and tell me exactly what you think. And students, remember to hit the like button because when they hit the like button, uh, YouTube will share the video to more people. So hit the like button, my viewers and subscribers. Let us watch this on the corruption of, of Devon. And remember, you can send a look at thing in at the super chat if you appreciate the class. All right? Hit the super chat and send a look at thing. And thanks for those people who have liked the like button. I need some more people to hit the like button. All right? Let's go and watch the video and tell me what you think. Let's go. Jamaica has entered an unprecedented era of law breaking by holders of public office and the normalization of wrongdoing. There are five main elements of my case against Prime Minister Andrew Holness. 1. Corruption referral and attack on the Integrity Commission. Let me first disclose that years before February 2023, when it became public that the Director of Corruption Investigation, the country's chief anti-corruption entity, the Integrity Commission, had made a referral of Prime Minister Holness to the Director of Corruption Prosecution. I was aware of some of the items in the charges, having been told of them by persons who had intimate knowledge of the matter. I was therefore surprised at the decision of the Director of Corruption Prosecution not to proceed to charge the Prime Minister. It is a stunning and not to be forgotten fact that the Director of Corruption Prosecution did not make a finding that the allegations of the Director of Corruption Investigation were unfounded. Her decision did not question the findings of fact made by the Director of Corruption Investigation. 2. Uncertified Financial Declarations 
corruption in Jamaica is exceedingly high. One form in which corruption manifests itself is the use of public office for illicit enrichment. The Integrity Commission Act, whose legislation was crafted largely during the Simpson-Miller administration and led in terms of legislative construction by Mark Golding, was designed both to make it harder for public officials to enrich themselves at the public's expense, as well as to strengthen the mechanisms for detection, investigation, and prosecution. The law also made it mandatory for the declarations of both the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition to be gazetted and published after being certified by the Integrity Commission. Certification means, among other things, that the Integrity Commission is satisfied that there are plausible explanations for the origins of assets and causes of liabilities of a declarant, and that the wealth reflected by the assets has not been obtained through illicit means. For almost a year now, the Integrity Commission has been unable to certify the 2021 declarations of the Prime Minister. That fact should concern well-thinking Jamaicans. The absence of certification is not based on willy-nilly objections or bad mind on the part of the Integrity Commission. The absence of certification means that the Integrity Commission is not satisfied with one or more aspects of the Prime Minister's declaration and has unanswered questions. It is the duty of the declarant to satisfy the Integrity Commission. It is to be recalled that in addition to the non-certification of his declarations for 2021, he was late in the submission of his 2019 declarations. Vi you hear that? You hear that? You as Prime Minister, is either you're late with the statutory declaration or the people can't confirm. Devon, what you hiding? Devon, the Blue Rat. Somebody asks Blue Rat what him hiding for me, no? Blue Rat, everybody in the world know you're corrupt in a Blue Rat. Blue Rat, everybody in the world knows say you love money. My viewers and subscribers, I want you to listen to the allegations that the people are laying out against him. You know, listen, my viewers and subscribers, and tell me if you agree. Violating the law. Three, investigations for illicit enrichment. Six members of parliament are under investigation for illicit enrichment. And there is every indication that they are all members of the Jamaica Labour Party. In the face of that startling fact, the Prime Minister has sought to place a gag on his cabinet ministers to prevent them from saying whether they are under investigation. I have tried unsuccessfully to ascertain whether the Prime Minister has stated unequivocally that he is not under investigation. There is no public reporting that he has so stated. So, what do we have? At one level, we have a Prime Minister who is the subject of a corruption investigation, and then a referral for corruption prosecution. At another level, probably unrelated, we have a Prime Minister who is yet to obtain certification for his integrity declarations for 2021, as of August 2023. At a third level, we have a Prime Minister with six of his MPs under investigation for illicit enrichment, rather than moving post-haste to establish who they are, and remove them, temporarily until the investigations are completed. The Prime Minister has sought to impose silence. This is a reasonable assumption, since People's National Party, the NP President, Opposition Leader Mark Golding, has asserted unequivocally that none of the 21 parliamentarians on his side had been contacted by the Integrity Commission as part of an illicit enrichment investigation. At yet a fourth level, we have a Prime Minister who has not declared whether he is under investigation for illicit enrichment. Four, repeated violations of the law and the Constitution. My brothers and subscribers, you know when I listen to this, it is true. You know, say up to now, Devon never said to us, said Jamaica, you know, say I am not under investigation. My viewers and subscribers, you know, say up to now, Devon not come out and say, boy, Jamaica, you know, say me and one of them. Up to now, Devon don't come out and say to us, say Jamaica, my hands are clean. You hear, my to all those students who watched the live earlier on today, remember, oh, did a shout and trace like some tenement yard. When he might give you the free house, who them come to know? Who must sort it out? Remember, sir, so him did a shout and go on. So why you can't lift up your hand and say, Jamaica, me and the one of the six, me swear upon me my life, me and the one of the six. Prime Minister, why you don't come out and tell the people if you're one of the six? When you give free house, you ball out, but who them come to and who them, them this and who them expect to sort it out and who this and who that and who and everything and who and everything. But you can't lift up your hand in the air and say, Jamaica, I swear as God live it. And never me. 
Me no in it as the Prime Minister. Me, you mad corruption. No, no, but you can't do that. Everything else you come for ball out quick, quick, quick. In my viewers and subscribers, tell me the truth, you know. If Blue Rod quick, if Nicola said Devon have no shame. Devon no have no shame, De Nicola. You hear Devon attack, all on you hear Devon attack. Let us think about it for a moment. Devon never come out and said to us, said, Jamaica, you know, say a lie. My hands are clean, 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 clean. We never hear Devon come out and declare his innocence. So what that mean? May I ask you a question, my viewers and subscribers? What does that mean? Pat same can say that. Why would he put Gag Ada and the members? Because he know himself. Me, me know him a one of them. You must be one of them based on your actions. Your actions prove to me say it look like you are one of them. But me know what me know. And there are allegations surrounding where everybody has said you and Shevan. Devon is one and Shevan is two. Devon is one and Shevan is two. But anyway, let us listen to the rest of the documentary. We move on. It was not declared whether he is under investigation for illicit enrichment. Four. Repeated violations of the law and the constitution. No premier or prime minister in Jamaica's history has had a history of violating the constitutions as this current prime minister. When you hear the my viewers and subscribers, how much more things Devon do wrong? Him violate the constitution, him not declare him statutory, him under investigation, him, 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 him under corruption probe. My viewers and subscribers, Lord Jesus, no sir. Also, one as so much things one man I get away with. No, me ask you a question. Junior Park said guilty. I don't know, Junior. Me just ask you. Judge with those glass of shine. Stay and say, remember in the last debate when Hogfish couldn't even say his hands were clean with a straight face. Andrea Berg said, Devon have, Devon have no care of art in the world. He and his wife is one of the same. <laughs> Murder. Why is a well thinking labor right? Come to Uno senses, please, and take Jamaica off this corruption mess before 2024. Velma has a tough time, should be ashamed. Tissues have a compulsory, should be a compulsory item in every hospital. My brothers and subscribers, let me play the rest of the article and I want you to listen carefully. Listen, no other prime minister of rape and rob and rub up the constitution like this. Awanya. Nobody no write the constitution. This a man do him one, him change this, him change him mouth, him change him mouth, him twisting. He's either this man is a dictator or a tree card man. Which one of them you think him is? Listen to this again. Because this video is laying out the allegations against Devon. Listen. It was not declared whether he is under investigation for illicit enrichment. Four. Repeated violations of the law and the constitution. No premier or prime minister in Jamaica's history has had a history of violating the constitutions as this current prime minister. From pre-signed letters of resignation, with two rebuffs from the court, to attempting to place the chief justice on probation, to national identification system, NIDS, and states of emergency, the last of which will cost... You hear them, viewers and subscribers, in the ear there? Pre-signed resignation letter. Nobody never do that yet. Nobody never do that yet. The man carry the, the man want to have him away, you know, and the people them say no, you know, and the man bring the constitution go court and lose, you know. The man want to put all the chief justice, you know, under probation. Why am not putting big nose under probation? Why never put him big nose or put him wife big foot under probation? Listen to this, sir. Taxpayers tens of millions of dollars based on the unconstitutionality of the actions of the wholeness administration. It is my considered... My brothers and subscribers, please remember, let me listen back to you how the man do the constitution, you know, listen. Who has not declared whether he is under investigation for illicit enrichment. Four, repeated violations of the law and the constitution. No premier or prime minister in Jamaica's history has had a history of violating the constitutions as this current prime minister. From pre-signed letters of resignation, with two rebuffs from the court, to attempting to place the Chief Justice on probation, to national identification system, 
NIDs, and states of emergency, the last of which will cost taxpayers tens of millions of dollars based on the unconstitutionality of the actions of the wholeness administration. So, he might do something unconstitutional, fulfill theme or needs, theme or needs and theme or personal ambition, and the taxpayers of Jamaica pay the money. You know, take the money as a boy, citizens may understand, so now suffer, so now stress. See what money, I see some food grant here, see some something I forgot, NHT, see some benefit, I see some college grant, some university grant, see some something here. Nothing like that, but you take the money, I do all kind of something. Everybody need to hear this video and need to look at the allegations being leveled against this man. Listen. It is my considered position that this Prime Minister poses a clear and present danger to Jamaica's democracy. These facts taken together render Prime Minister wholeness, in my considered assessment, unfit to continue as Prime Minister. But we have a fifth reason, namely, the unconscionable 200 salary increase for politicians. In May of this year, government gave members of the political directorate salary increases of over 200%. Let us briefly survey the context of the country in which this cruel act occurred. Jamaica experienced a 51% increase in poverty over the two-year period, 2019 to... My brothers subscribers, you don't listen to the facts, you know. Jamaica gained a 51% increase in poverty over the two years, you know. 51% increase in poverty, you know. So the poor are get poorer. And this I'm gonna take two hundred percent. Give themselves. Sometimes when you listen to, to to things being placed in context, it broadens your horizon and it allows the picture to be a lot more clearer. My viewers and subscribers, them never give themselves salary increase when everybody alright and when the place nice. They give themselves salary increase when wally pa people can't find food. Wally pa people can't find food at night time. And them look and give themselves 200 and 300 percent increase. Oh God, wickedness, man. Palette Ponancy, good night to you. Well, go on, Palette. Big up to you, man. Maxwell said, How can I get this article playing about big nose? All you have to do is send me a WhatsApp message, Maxwell. Send me a WhatsApp message. I said to Mr. A topic, I want the video of Devon that you were playing. I let me send it to you. Send me a WhatsApp number. They send me a WhatsApp message. Send me a WhatsApp message. Alphonse Lewis, a Prime Minister, Andrew Oldness, following Donald Trump. All I want them lock up in backside like how them lock up Trump. So I say if Trump and his corners could go down the same, go, go down, so can Devon. Devon need for government. Big up yourself, Egla Fletcher, Beverly Clark. Big up on yourself, Delroy, Lee. Big up yourself. Everybody who is in the class, blessings to you one and all. My brothers are subscribers. Let us finish listening to the article, yeah? over 200 percent let us briefly survey the context of the country in which this cruel act occurred jamaica experienced a 51 percent increase in poverty over the two-year period 2019 to 2021 it is yet to be known what it is in 2023 food costs have skyrocketed food inflation in november 2022 was over 14 percent above november 2021 in january 2023 it was almost 13% over January 2022 and July 2023. It was more than 11% over January 2022. In April 2022, the World Food Programme reported on research which found that 40% of Jamaicans had reduced their food consumption and 90% of had changed their shopping behaviour. It is in the context of a society with these characteristics and harsh realities that the Wholeness Administration gave a 200% increase to members of the political directorate. This increase, one member of the governing party, no less a person than the wife of the Prime Minister, has described as coming closer to a livable wage. And so, the question is, if it took a 200 increase to bring the members of the political class to a livable wage, how can it be fair for the struggling public sector worker, teachers and nurses, to have been forced to accept a 20% increase? And if the 200% increase were justified and represented a great decision for the country, why did the Minister of Finance wait until the 20% was accepted that the increase of 200% for themselves was announced, given that he knew from the outset that this level of increase was likely? Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So there you have it. That was video number one, showing you the wickedness of Brother Devon and him crew, though. 
my viewers and subscribers, this video, if a lot of well-thinking people were able to sit down and reason that video and look into it, they would realize that they are making a wrong decision where integrity is concerned if they decide to vote in Brother Devon. But my viewers and subscribers, we're going to look at this article and I want you to pay special attention to this, my viewers and subscribers, because this is a JLP corruption timeline. This slide that I'm about to show, it will provide details on the amount of scandals that the Jamaica Labour Party has been involved in from 2016 when they took office. So let us look on your screen carefully. So on your screen now, it is saying in March 2016, we have Montague. That a Robert Montague him with the used car scandals. That is the first big major corruption scandal that plagued the JLP in 2016 because they took office in about February or March and as them come in, some judgment start. So, used car scandal in which 30 cars were still outstanding since 2012 and this is valid at 100 million Jamaican dollars. So the first corruption scandal was with Mr. Montague him with the used car scandals when you can't take note. Then in a September of 2016, there was the nepotism argument with Spectrum Management. Anybody remember the whole incident with Spectrum Management and who had contract to them family and friends? That happened in September, so that is Two corruption on the JLP in 2016. There was a third corruption in 2016. Exactly when them took office, it was December, and that was a debushing scandal, the $600 million debushing scandal. Where property, where, where, where $606 million improperly awarded right before parish council elections, my viewers and subscribers. So we see that right here. So you have three. Three major scandals and corruption that plagued the JLP in 2016. So first you have Mr. Montague with the used car scandal. Then that in a March. Then September you have the nepotism with the spectrum management. Then in a December you have the $600 million debushing scandal. Anybody remember that $600 million scandal there? Nicola Green said car, car scandal one. Yes. Car scandal, Stacey and Sona Samantaki was also accused of trespassing on a teenage property. I don't know about that one, the massa. Jackie Edwards, I thought it was the phone bill and Petra Jam. We don't see that one there yet, massa. We just see what in the document. This is what we're looking at. Maybe the phone bill and scandal and Petra Jam was also included. But for now, we're looking at this document. If you see and know any other illegal acts that were done, feel free to comment. Maxwell said, yes, teacher, I just WhatsApp you for the video. Well, I soon get it here, Maxwell. May I focus on the class right now? I soon look on the phone. So that is the corruption that plagued the JLP in 2016. Let us move on to 2017 and see what's next. So in 2017, in August, the JLP have another scandal now. Convicted criminal, friends of board members, Granted gun license under questionable circumstances. So here we have another corruption, another scandal by them, my viewers and subscribers. We are regular people in Jamaica who need the tool to protect themselves and their family. They were getting turned down and them record clean like whistle. But people were of 5, 6, and 7, 8, and 9, 10 charges were still able to get tool. Because they supported the Jamaica Labour Party or because of people with them know. So look at this. 2017, we had the gun license scandal. In a August, in a September, you had the Junction Road. Over $1 billion of taxpayers' money has been spent. As of 2023, might have been abandoned. So them claim them a fixed Junction Road and spend over $1 billion, my viewers and subscribers, and it look like the road are abandoned. So them take $1 billion what them could have used to fix up the hospital and to do some social programs. Them take it, claim them a fix up road and road can't done. 
so that money gone in a them friend and them friend pocket. In May of 2017, grant of milk powder license and 15 acres of uh, Mombasa grass and personal property. Uh, what is about the milk powder now? So in May, them grant milk powder license. So who get the milk powder license? My viewers and subscribers. Is anybody aware who got the milk powder license in May of 2017? If you are aware of any of these facts and these scoops, you can type in the comments and let me know, my viewers and subscribers. Let us move on to 2018. Right, it cut my viewers and subscribers. What a weird 2018 rap sheet long. Now 2018, right? So it says Petra Jam. Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers, make a fix good. This a rap sheet a long to rat it. Couple no all my viewers and subscribers. There not so much corruption the JLP go out in a 2018. That this a rap sheet long, so all my viewers and subscribers, you know, make a see if we can open up my eye and see if we can find it, right? So it says in 2018, Petro Jam perimeter fence for $95 million. When the actual cost was $27 million. When you hear them, my viewers and subscribers, perimeter fence, and the little bag of wire fence, them where you put, you know, and them so that the perimeter fence where them put up a Petro Jam cost $95.6 million, you know. And when you check it at $27 million, it actually costs, you know. So you mean to tell me that them people are thief 60 million dollars put in them pocket? My viewers and subscribers, me tell you a long time since so I saw them go to work, you know. Thank you so much, Sister T, for your super chat. I just look on the screen and see it. Blessings to you, Sister T. Blessings to you, Sean Powell. Good night. Alphonse Lewis said, anytime you give certain people power, that's how they behave. Uh, who you are talking now, Alphonse? Nicola Green said, thanks, Sister T, for the super chat. Sassy Sal say Bigfoot, Lord Jesus, a Bigfoot in our talk. Alfonso say they are a set of criminals and tell us which large institution uses domestic toilet paper. I don't know, Massa. Beverly say, remember, Petro Jam scandal. Well, Beverly, we are right on the Petro Jam scandal right now, my viewers are subscribers, because uh, you're looking on the screen and it is said that the first situation that happened is that in, when the JLP take over in a 2016, they are on Petro Jam. It is said that they built a parameter fence and them said the fence, the little bag of wire fence cost $95 million. And when you check it out, my viewers and subscribers, I lie, them I tell, at $27 million the something cost. So you mean to tell me that them people are wanting for almost $68 million? No, man. No, man. Them really are thief with, 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 with shovel for two, my viewers and subscribers. Another one says between December 2016 and May 2018, GM Grinley sided and abetted Chairman Badahu in fraudulently claiming several reimbursement amounting to US $73,000. So the chairman I get money. The chairman I get fraudulent reimbursement, my viewers and subscribers. So he might get reimbursed for what he might do. I saw this a government a thief money, you know. And then them call it embezzlement. Right, I so said it's a Asha Corporation which paid $27.5 million between January 2017 and December 2018 for financial consulting services which could have been provided by its own staff. So see there, they might get contract at $27 million in financial services and the staff, them in the office, could have do it. My viewers and subscribers, when you listen to them, something I saw so thief operating, you know. Main Event Group Limited paid $13.5 million retainer. But Main Event, you no know, the place where big party keep. So when them get 13 point something million dollar I oh, would write it, copy some my viewers and subscribers. And then Minister Wheatley resign position as energy minister. So with all of them corruption here going, Andrew Wheatley, him did have to resign. And when Andrew Wheatley resign, him talk and say that there's no loyalty massa. Because it look like, say, him did that do business and brother Devon never stand up for him. But make I shut up my mouth on that. In August of 2018, Derek Smith constituency contract of $7.5 million per year through 2022. Total of $37 million. I would write it cup this year. Derek Smith five-year constituency contract at 
uh, uh, $7.5 million per year, working out to $37 million. Then that's how them people are walk a thief taxpayers' money, man. Jesus, merciful Father. In August, some kind of nepotism busy guy. So wait, name Trevor Forrest resigned that board chairman following what well, revisions that he had improperly intervened in the recruitment process at the Spectrum Management Authority. I be a drama Daguana Spectrum in August, the SMA. What is SMA now? Constituency Secretary appointed to board in August, USF. A JLP candidate for, for Portmore MP. I had daughter and paid her $80,000 without qualification. Lord Jesus. So MP, a JLP candidate for Portmore MP hired her daughter. So you hear that my viewers are subscribers. A JLP candidate for Portmore hired her daughter and paid her $80,000. Without qualification. Then I saw them a walk a tech with people, poor people. Well, land them viewers and subscribers. Me never know that. Somebody says September is Nessal. $12 million. State-owned National Energy Solutions Limited. Nessal. Engage Peak Energy Solutions Limited. And pay $12 million without a written contract. Jesus Christ, my viewers and subscribers. I'm sorry for call out God name. But when you see all them people just a walk a thief people money. I ban as a white collar crime. White collar crime. Nicola said that's not a shovel, that's back o. Where's a back o them are use and a thief the money? You know, hear them my viewers and subscribers. Me I call out the allegations and the money where them thief one one, you know. JP I remember that argument, Stacey and say them a fish, but them a thief like puss. Lord Jesus. Egla say eight bill gas station, one in Olaba and Portmore. Lord Jesus, Egla say who for the gas station them there. Egla, take time, type in at the comments and tell me. I nah, tell nobody. Type in at the comments and tell me. Egla, I text up on my phone and tell me. JP say, indeed, Mr. G, Mr. G, indeed, pirates. DRX, big up yourself. Oh, go on. Blessing to you, DRX, the artist. And big up yourself, Mr. G. I'll fantasy men like Andrew Oles and his ministers. Sister T says, say, you're welcome, Nicola. Velma said, no way, no better than Yard, a full country. So I want Andrew Oles to lose so that I can feel safe to come out there and visit my friends and relatives. Hope to see you next year. Lord Jesus, so Andrew, make you afraid to come to Jamaica. Junior Park, Parker said, God works then. And it's still working now for his people to get them out of the disaster they are under going from these demons. We are really in big trouble if all their agenda is, imp is implemented. A true attack. True attack. Florence, remember, new, tri tri new tri products. Yes, when them teeth, the children, them bulla and milk. JP said gas stations all over. I ban, I said, your money to teach a lot. Nobody tell me that for me get mad off of them. I ban you. Nobody remind me. Calligraphic say, and you know, reach, rule, read, read. Lord Jesus, I, I wish you did rule, read, come in a power now. DNTD, good night, how you doing, DNTD? Sassy Sal say, Adam and Matthew gas station, alleged. Lord Jesus, at the gas station in a St. Thomas, you not talk. Me, you know, the gas station in a St. Thomas where Devon own. But who own the gas station in a Portmore? Come on, students, type in at the comments and tell me. Make me hear. Who own the gas station in a Portmore? As students, please remember that the class is open. And if you like the class, you can hit the super chat button. You see that look a dollar sign here. So wish for the comments there. Hit the super chat and send a look of blessings into the class, my viewers and subscribers. Feel free to send a look of blessings into the class. Send a 10, send a 5, a 15, 20, 50. Anything you have, you can hit the super chat and bless up the class. And show some support, my viewers and subscribers. Come on, show some support for our topic. Pat W says, so teacher, you remember the girl, Yannick, how Devon find her now to hugging her and when she was eating from garbage, him never see her. Lord, this man. Devon a wicked, Pat. <clears throat> the NTD say, I'm good. Let us move on to 2019, my viewers and subscribers. Let us move on. Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers. See, 2019 now. May 2019, free beach. How do you mean by free beach? It's a $13.5 million. <clears throat> it says VAS and Urban Development Corporation, UDC, sell beach property valued at $13.5 million to Puerto Caribe Properties Limited, 
operators of Moon Palace Jamaica Hotel for $7.2 million, plus Beach valued at US $3.5 million given away for free. So you mean to tell me that Jamaicans cannot access Beach and, and Beach a giveaway for free? I remember this, my viewers and subscribers, when them say Vaza UDC sell the property and the property valued at $13.5 million, my viewers and subscribers, and them sell the, the, the property for, for, for $7.2 million. So it's $6.3 million worth of value Jamaica can give it. You can imagine, my viewers and subscribers, you are the minister and you know that a property is worth $13.5 million US and you're going to sell a property for $7.2 million US plus beach with value that $3.5 million. No, my viewers and subscribers, them people are really, no mean Jamaican people no good. Them people are not mean Jamaica no good. This is one big, big sellout. Somebody says in October, CMU corruption, $50 million of school funds for personal use for Ruel Reed and Fix Pinock. Then Ruel Reed has so much money that they take $50 million. Then I saw your chest eye for one pastor. Jesus Christ, God, I go kill you, you know. God must strike you and, and rip you in pieces. $50 million on a thief? $50 million? My viewers are subscribers. I never know say it's $50 million, you know. Remember, say, it's got the helper go up at the bank, up at New Kingston. And when the helper go up there, the people at the bank say, but wait, come here, little lady. You are helper, you have so much millions and billions, all kind of millions. It's where you get this money from. And when they call the police, the lady say, I can't take it no more, I can't take it no more. A Ruel Reed said me, Ruel, hey, <laughs> murder. No, oh, Jesus, my viewers and subscribers, I don't want to ball up, murder, I wake up, meet the people them. You can imagine my viewers and subscribers. Only can imagine my viewers and subscribers. $50 million royal read. Them say, him and, him and the man take. I banner say, she like have two gas station, one downtown and one at Yalas. I never know. I wonder if the gas station where they close to down to the waterfront side. So I don't want to depart Arbor Street. Type in the comments and tell me, I banner, the gas station where Chevron, where Bigfoot Chevron have. Is it the one where they close to Arbor Street? Florence said, Devon looking votes. Well, we not giving him any. But my viewers and subscribers are 50 million dollars. Them say rural retaking on me. Never know that. Then area, 676.8 million dollars of unapproved salary. 678 million dollars in an unapproved salary. Then all them salary are run on the Minister of Finance and the big top people and the chief financial officers don't know about this. Jesus save you, my viewers and subscribers. No, so them people are thief with the like kingdom come. Somebody else say nepotism, cronyism, $122 million per annum for four officers. $122 million. Well, and my viewers and subscribers, no, sir. When I couldn't get a calculator and check up how much money this them are thief. $122 million for four salary. So you mean to tell me that them people get over $30 million per year? Because if it's a 122 divided by four, that is about 30.5. So you mean that these people get $30 million, the four of them, what kind of degree them have, so? What kind of degree them have some my viewers and subscribers? That is the question I may ask you. Follow it, pronounce it, share dead with laugh. And then it traveling allowances for 119 students, $95 million. Then see right here, so December, rather 33 road contracts. No, man, my viewers and subscribers, me have to check up the money as soon or later and see how much money them really take. Me can see what happened in 2021. <laughs> Well, on 2020 of March, Chairman Joseph Shakur authorized $11.5 million payment to Willard Hilton, former MD at Jamaica Tourist Association, in March 2020, though he was terminated. So the man get terminated December 2031, 2019, and them are sending money in a March. $11 million them are sending. Lord Jesus, them people have to go to jail. The whole of them people have to get locked up. 
in Jews, it's a vase. Minister with responsibility for land and environment attempts to lease lands 7.7 .7 acres bordering protected Hollywell National Forest Park in St. Andrew to build private cabin for 25 years at 120000 per annum. Lord Jesus, my viewers and subscribers, there are not so much ne things vas near him call up in a July market me contract. Christopher Tufton, you year one this, you know. Year one this July market me contract not put out to tender totaling $55 million between December 2016 and 2019. Mr. Tufton, are you and the health ministry are market me? Tell the people them which uh, which one of your friend them. Tell the people them my Mr. Tufton, is it true that is want you and your sweetheart to be friend? Is it true that is one of the want you and your sweetheart to be friend? Is it true that is one of them company? <laughs> my brothers and subscribers, the people must stop taking money and give to them sweetheart. In July, J.C. Hutchinson signed over fourteen hundred acres of Alland Estate land. To romantic partner and son, stripped of agricultural portfolio. So this man a game woman am. I would write it. Copy this a whole lot. One of my viewers and subscribers. So J C Hutchinson, it is alleged that you signed over fourteen acres of land to your partner and son. No, my viewers and subscribers, them something I can't real. And none of them people are not going to prison. Nicola Green said, I'm confused. Has so much scandal gone already? Which number we reach? It passed. It's more than 12. I said, Big Green and Black Gas Station. Got her. I said, This is some one warehouse. Oral said, Blessings, my teacher. I'm late for class. I can still join Star. Of course, Oral, welcome, man. Stacey and said, Crofton, why you do it? Sharon, Peter, good night, everyone. Jackie said, No. I feel him. She had the cover. Lord Jesus, me hear about them gas station where them have done a town and the one at St. Thomas. In November, dry harbor mining. Andrew Oldness overturns Nepa decision not to give legal, not to give Bengal mining company. So Nepa said that them people them not forget the mining and Devon overturn it. My brothers and subscribers are big, big corruption that you know. Watch the rest of the story. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my viewers and subscribers, I'm sorry for call out God's name in vain. But I'm tired for read corruption. I'm tired for read out them here. January, J-U-T-C, nepotism. January, J-U-T-C again. Salaries raised 600% in 13 months. March, J-C-D-C, nep nepotism. Trevor Nair awarded $13 million for celebration. I want to sound like a babsy. September said Nutrition Products Limited Nepotism. $143 million paid to companies and individuals connected to board members and management. 12 staff positions were not advertised and 8 members did not have the proper qualification. Jesus, the Marab with blind. October, NMIA, AAJ, First Rock, $450 million. First Rock, per, First Rock Stock. Purchase Hutchins. Me can't even read it to it. Fine. October JCTE scandal. $124 million. Permanent Secretary Grace McLean. Montague nepotism and cronyism. Jamaica Railway Corporation. November Clarendon Aluminum Production. What is? Belizean Company gets six months contract which was renewed five times for 225000 November Jamaica Customs Agency five hundred and sixty four million dollars in arrears for three private bonded warehouse. Five hundred million dollar and me and you can't owe them five cent. December Archers NTA staff retreat to Moon Palace five point six million dollars. Jesus Savior. Mm -mm. <laughs> What my viewers and subscribers, I can't read all of them corruption. Let me run this quick. 2022 TPD Co. 478 million. March Ministry of Health 13 million. May TPD Co. How much this? Was it 21 million or how much million right there? So yes. August Kamina Johnson Smith 
43.9 million July NSWMA 5.5 billion dollars November Green Acres Police Station 73 million dollars spent to contract Green Acre Police Station up to now that not done October JC Hutchinson him again conflict of interest for second nepotism charge and them people are not getting a lock up Ministry of, of what MOWH I don't know what that again Crony is in March 400 million November transfer of 174 million dollars no my viewers and subscribers grand total 6 billion 314 million 200 thousand so this government have robbed in our brought up been brought up in corruption amounting to 6 billion no wonder them rich my viewers and subscribers and can't account for the money Jesus save my viewers and subscribers. What do you have to say? Susan Fullerton said, Good night, everyone. Just joining from South Carolina. Big up all those in South Carolina in the US. Egla Fletcher said the PM want the PM who was in charge of Petra Jam. Yes, the MP was in charge of Petra Jam. Gene Wright said this call to call to put post to watch the butter. Marva Dice said, Good night. Stacey and said, Time come. Jackie said, no, my viewers and subscribers, you hear the amount of corruption when I call out. Jackie said, I think the citizens of this country should arrest them all citizens. I true, they will flat them up. God said, the Prime Minister don't have any shame but love money. Whenever him see money, him knows grow. Hey, <laughs> my viewers and subscribers, the man said, when Devon see money, him knows grow. Susan Fullerton said, this and a rob blind. This a rob bright and brawling. Bright and brawling for true Susan. Six billion dollars, you know. Even while in say gift us. Susan Fullerton said, this a why me have so much creator in our road and can't fix. Yes, because the government has stopped teeth out the money for themselves and them friend. Sharon Peter said, it's a damn shame. My brothers and subscribers, it is too much. Me can't finish read it out. Because we're reaching at 2022, not to mention 2023, over six billion dollars so far. Somebody type six billion in the comments to me. Six billion. Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, I have the odd topic now where I'm gonna talk about. Let me move into the next topic quick, my viewers and subscribers. Before I go into the this topic here, my viewers and subscribers, let me play this video for you. It is important that I play this video for you. So a while ago, we just attack up the things the man I realize all the people them corrupt how much money them thief. My brothers and subscribers, this video that I'm going to be playing, it is going to be a very informative video. When I said informative, I mean real informative because you're going to be learning a lot from this video. You hear me, my viewers and subscribers? Hold on a second, let me put it up on the screen. And students, please remember that you can send a little blessing at the super chat, all right? Remember to eat the super chat and send a little blessing in at the super chat, all right? Are you enjoying the class so far, my viewers and subscribers? How is the class so far? Are you enjoying? Are you learning? Susan says 6 billion. A gold says 6 billion. A gold a long time in the scene. You know, where have you been? Jackie Edwards says, add them up and ask them to pay us back. Them always 6 billion massa. Alphonse has said, only in Jamaica these guys can behave in this manner. We need to lock them up. Carla Ibang said, that is why we are dying for hunger. So, yes. Powell GQ said, good night, teacher. Well, go on. Powell GQ, blessings, man. I welcome to the class, man. My brothers and subscribers, I am loading a video. It is a very informative, informative video that a lot of you will like, my viewers and subscribers. All right? So, while I allow the video to load... Please just listen to this music, my viewers and subscribers. All right, go and listen to the music while the video load. And please remember to hit the like button. And remember, feel free to send a little blessing at the super chat. Send a little contribution. All right, thank you. Listen to the music for about a minute or two, and then we're going to be playing the video because the topic we're going to be talking about now is Everal Warmington and expose Andrew Oldness. What is uh, is Everal Warmington? exposing them about <clears throat> in my viewers and subscribers what is everal warming exposing them about this is something you'll want to hear please hit the like button 
please remember you can hit the super chat and send a little blessing. And my viewers and subscribers, let us just listen to this music while the video load. All right, listen to the music and enjoy for a minute or two. So I'd like to leave you with a very important message. This is the music play. This is my final song. Here we go. Check this out. I would love you to just listen to these words. What I'm saying and then after what I'm singing. You know, sometimes some bad things happen for good reasons. When some bad things happen, we cry and we bawl and we hide and we complain. But let me tell you something. You see, when you find yourself in that valley, remember this. Valley will teach you lessons Hilltop knows nothing about. You know, hear that? Don't complain, just maintain. Because adversity is the greatest university. That is how you're going to find out, so it's not every friend. In 1664. It's not the people in where you help out. I'm going to come back and help you out. Certain realities start taking you. Well, listen to this. Play me song. Let me just say this to you now. Whatever life throws at you, whatever people do, just don't take it personal. When you take it personal, it consume you. You live an angry life and a angry heart will eat up its owner. Now, when you can ignore all of the things, no matter how cruel it is, and live a happy life, you're on your way to... Yes, my viewers and subscribers, thank you for your patience. We are back. My viewers and subscribers, I want you to pay attention to the screen right now. And thank you again for your patience. This is a very informative video, as I said, my viewers and subscribers, where we're going to be learning a little bit about Jamaica and the Jamaican parishes. And I want to ask you a question, my viewers and subscribers. Did any of you guys know that at one point in time, Jamaica had over 22 parishes? Did anybody know that at one point in time, Jamaica had over 22 parishes. Carly Banks said, well, I forget out big nose man. Andrea Goodwin said, him stuck up tissue, then run out like people are fool. Eagle said, from I came back home on the 16th of November, it's my first phone work in my house. It works if I leave the house, but not the house. Okay. Well, my viewers and subscribers, anyway... Here is the uh, video that I want you to pay special attention. This is a little interesting facts about Jamaica. You're going to be finding out about the parishes, who the parishes them name after. This is a very informative video, my viewers and subscribers, that you're going to learn some interesting fun facts about Jamaica. So let us watch this video as we slowly bring down the class and move into the hot topic where everyone warm it and expose them, all right? Let us watch this video and it all falls in to what the topic is going to be about. Let's go. In 1664, the Spanish relinquished control of Jamaica to the British and Sir Thomas Malford divided this fair isle into seven administrative units known as parishes. These were located mainly in the mid to southeastern end of the island, namely Clarendon, St. John's, St. Andrews, St. Catherine's, Port Royal, St. David's, and St. Thomas in the east. Within 25 years, by 1683, the number of parishes had doubled, totaling 15 parishes, as St. Dorothy's, 
St. Thomas in the Vale, Vere, St. George's, St. Marie's, St. Anne's, St. James, and St. Elizabeth were added. In 1692, earthquake survivors fled across the harbor, and Kingston was formed a year later. By the mid-18th century, parishes covered the entire island. In 1758, the island's three counties, Surrey, Middlesex, and Cornwall, were created to facilitate more convenient holdings of courts of justice. Surrey has four parishes, Kingston, the smallest parish, St. Andrew, St. Thomas, and Portland. Middlesex has five, St. Catherine, St. Mary, Clarendon, St. Anne, and Manchester. Cornwall also has five, St. Elizabeth, Trelawney, St. James, and Nova. My brothers and subscribers, did anybody know that St. Thomas was once divided in two? And did anybody know that the other name of St. Thomas was St. David's? The parish of St. Thomas was two parish parishes till they made it one. And the other half of St. Thomas was St. David's. Did any of you know that? This is a very fact-finding documentary. Take a look at it. Second smallest parish on the island and Westmoreland. In the mid-19th century, Jamaica recorded its largest number of parishes. 22. In 1867, some parishes were merged into others, and Ireland was left with 14, the number of parishes we have today. Each parish has a capital town and serves as a unit of local government. Kingston, which existed as a settlement of houses in the mid 1600s prior to the event's formation as a town, became the capital of Jamaica in 1872. It acquired its position due to its function as a major centre for commerce and communication. The parishes of Surrey. The parish of St. Andrew, formed in 1867, was originally called Ligany, after the Ligany Plain in which it lies. Since most of the other 13 parishes were named after the governors of Jamaica, their wives are English kings, it is possible that St. Andrew ride its name similarly. St. Thomas, for example, may have been named after Thomas, Lord Windsor, governor of Jamaica in 1662. Cordon. My brothers and subscribers, when you when see who the people them, the other parishes them name after appear. White man appear. White people Jamaica name after, you know. This a man is Mr. Portland from Portland. What a man with a wallet per ear. Oh, this a man look like a woman to massa. What a man with a wallet per ear. This a man is Mr. Portland. This is the man who Portland was named after. My brothers and subscribers, look at the video you're going to see. Who all the P the parishes were named after. Take a look at this, my viewers and subscribers. Me never know them something until today. This is the first me I know them something. It was named after Duke of Portland, governor in 1723, the year of the parish formation. Kingston was once called Easton after Sir William Easton, who served as lieutenant governor of the island from 1693 to 1700. It is not known how the parish received the name Kingston. Although a letter from Fort Royal, dated July 3, 1693, referred to it being known by some as Kingston and others as Kilcoon. Kingston was made a parish in 1730. The parishes of Middlesex. St. Catherine, formed in 1867, was named after Charles II's queen. Catherine with a K, and it was once spelled as such. Charles II was king when the parish was formed. St. Mary, Mary may have been named after the Spanish, Spanish port, port Santa Maria. Maria. Although my mother's daughter, daughter was, was called Mary, Mary and when St. Mary, Mary was first born, born, it was, was next to the parish, parish of St. George, George, which was, was named after George Needham. Mary's, Mary's husband, husband Clarendon, Clarendon, was named after Cromwell, the Lord Chancellor, Chancellor and St. Anne was named after Anne Hyde, wife of James II. In 1814, Manchester was formed from the parish of Clarendon, Vere, and St. Elizabeth. It was, it was named, named after the Duke of Manchester, Manchester who was, was governor of Jamaica, Jamaica when it was formed. The, the parishes of Cornwall. St. Elizabeth was named in honor, honor of Elizabeth, Elizabeth wife, wife of Sir Thomas, Thomas Manfred, Manfred, who was, was governor when it was, was formed in the 17th century. Trelawney, formed in 1770, was named for former governor Sir William Trelawney, who died in Jamaica in 1772. St. James was named for the Duke of York, who became James II. And Nova, formed in 1725, 26, out of parts of Westmoreland and St. James, it is named after the Nereen family in England. 
It was originally called Saint, Saint Sophia, Sophia in honor of the mother of John I, but, but this idea, idea was overridden. Formed in 1703, Westmoreland's name is still called from the fact that it is the westernmost parish in the island. Each parish has unique places of interest and other characteristics. Saint Anne, for example, is known as the Garden Parish for its extreme beauty. The population of our 14 parishes is. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so there you have it. That was a little nice documentary showing you how Jamaica got its parishes, my viewers and subscribers. This documentary showing you how Jamaica got its parishes and where the parishes came from. But my viewers and subscribers, I hear somebody talking recently. Velma said this documentary should go viral at two. Maureen Slew Claude said good night at topic and class me. I'm just a reach class. Well, a late sister, big up herself, said we. But say, I don't know that. Can't remember being taught this at school. And welcome to a topic where you learn the things then. Nicola Green said, first me a ear teacher. Well, yes, over here at a topic we'll show you the facts. My viewers and subscribers, I hear somebody talking, Brother Devon, talking and saying, Oh, he want Portmore to be another parish portmore don't have a market for themselves portmore don't have a hospital and in order well, for these places to be a parish they must have those basic amenities in order for you to have a town you must have a parish or you must have a market all when you have played it, the game them on facebook where or wherever we have to build a town it shows you that you always have to have a market you always have to have a hospital and only one fire station that Portmore were built from only in the 90s. No more fire station. So why is it that this government is so interested in making Portmore the, a, a, a 15th parish? What is in it for them, my viewers and subscribers? If Portmore becomes a 15th parish, will it benefit the people of Portmore? Will life be easier for the people of Portmore? That is a question that I'm asking. My viewers and subscribers, I want you to listen to Brother Devon talking. And then I want you to listen to Everal Warming and I expose him and I expose the light we must say. My viewers and subscribers, listen to Devon talking about the parishes. Them. Listen to him. When the 14 parishes were defined in about 1867, there about, it was the intention that we will always have 14 parishes. We started out with seven. Yeah. We went up as high as 22 parishes. As communities... All right, and to all those students who are asking for the video, when, you're, when you just send me a WhatsApp message, or when you send me a WhatsApp message, say, a topic I want, this video or that video. You have to tell me which video specifically you want. So send me a WhatsApp message, 876-539-6220, and say to me, say, I tap it, I want the message with Devon, I tell lie, I want the video where I show the history of Jamaica parishes. You just be specific when you're asking for the videos, all right? Now, Devon said, I want make Jamaica be the 15, make Portmore be the 15th parish. And we are wondering, does Devon care about the people of Jamaica does he care about the citizens of Portmore why he desperately wants Portmore to become the parish? The 15th parish? My viewers and subscribers, let us listen carefully to what Brother Devon has to say. Listen. When the 14 parishes were defined in about 1867, there about, it was the intention that we will always have 14 parishes. We started out with seven. We went up as high as 22 parishes. As communities evolve and they grow and develop their own character based upon a principle of ensuring that representation is close to the community, you will seek to define the to merge from the community and the charge of community affairs. And it's not us who started it. It's you who started it, Fitz. You are the one who gave Portmore municipal yes. definition yes. because you realized that Portmore was operating differently and separately from the rest of the parish. Hear him now. Him, they're on the public platform, you know, 
and him want defend him want make solid argument why he wants Portmore to become the fifth parish and then the hear him you fits that is Fitz Jackson who is the MP for part of Portmore EM you Fitz Jackson started it so him want find pictures and pine blame me more fine fingers but my viewers and subscribers i am going to show you how everal warming time i expose him in a quick second listen to why andrew said that him want portmore to become a parish listen from the community and the charge of community affairs yes, yes. and it's not us who started it it's you who started it fits you are the one who gave portmore municipal definition because, because you realize, realize that that port port war, war was, was operating, operating differently. differently. Yes, John T, welcome to the class. I may agree with you, you know. John T is a night teacher. Maybe we should have a name change in parishes to move away from the colonial past. That is a good idea. My viewers and subscribers, John T, I pin John T comments. John T is saying that he thinks that we should have a name change of the parishes to move away from the colonial past. Do you agree with John T? You can say yes or no, okay? You can type in the comments and tell me, say, yes, we agree with John T or no. Do you think that Jamaica should change the name of the parishes to move away from the colonial past? You can type in the comments and let me know. Let's just listen to Brother Devon again. The Port War municipal definition because you realize that Port War was operating differently and separately from the rest of the parish. It's a hypocritical thing to say that the parish now must be materialized because you fear you're going to lose the politics of the past. Yeah, you hear what I'm saying? it's hypocritical that it has to materialize, materialize a poor more become a parish and him and Fitz Jackson fear say going to lose. So if poor more become a parish, what does Fitz Jackson have to lose? Edevan? If Portmore become a parish, what does Fitz Jackson have to lose? My viewers and subscribers, more you listen to the wicked man, you know, because Everal Warmington are going to expose exactly what you're doing. Listen to him, my viewers and subscribers, and then we're going to play a Warmington video. Listen. That the parish, it's a hypocritical thing to say that the parish now must be materialized because you fear you're going to lose the politics of the past. It's behind, behind us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's behind us. The politics that wish pass behind us. You mean the politics of the good past is behind us and what is currently before us is you and your corruption and your cronyism and your nepotism and your lionism. That is what you're talking. So the politics of the past, which is good politics, it is gone. But currently, what is before us is you are your lying, wicked, judgment, mix-up business. My viewers and subscribers, I want to play this video. Well, and I will the video, the man. Well, and my viewers and subscribers, I will the video that we just have. Let me be with them. I just send the video yes a while ago. You know. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, let me just play this video here from DRX, quick and fast. And then, me I go make on the ear where Warmington have to say, Okay, my viewers and subscribers, me, I'm going to make on the ear of Warmington and expose him because Devon is saying that, oh, Portmore revolve and Portmore change and Portmore grow. But is it really Portmore is growing and changing? Why would want it to become a parish? And if you want it to become a parish, where is the, where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? Where is the market? Devon, hey. I'm sorry, when you attack your teeth, they never drop out of your lying mouth with your big liar self. You know, it's big like, I don't know when you're going to stop trick the people. And when you look at three card manual, my brothers and subscribers see the three card manual. And this is a song from the artist DRX. I have to play this song for my brothers and subscribers. Bear with me a second there. I just want this to for, for draw out so I can fix this. Come on, man. Well, I'm a brothers and subscribers. And bear with me a second. I'm going to fix this. Here. I eat for do this, you see. Well, I'm a brothers and subscribers. Bear with me. Let me put fit to screen. All right. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. You know what you are going to say now, all right? Listen to this uh, article. Because this is the song we're going to play for Brother Devon before we burn, for, before we burn him out. This is the song we're going to play before we expose you as a big, wicked, liar Devon. Because Warmington exposed you. 
Warmington is exposing the devil. And listen to this uh, and this make we listen to this song. And this is a song we dedicate to Wicked Anjo. And this is from DRX, one of our students in the class. Listen to that tune, yeah. Hey! Somebody tell the big nose boy. Jaja ja, ja, Agus Mighty. Never, never come see. I'm going to see. You, you are the cronies. Your big nose is a pressure bus five. five. Time, Time now. now. Who don't treat the poor people right? We don't know for the country I run. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. DRX, so I don't look a short video here. You send me, man. DRX, you never send me the full long video, man. Listen to this again, my viewers and subscribers. Hey! Somebody tell the big news, boy. Jaja August Mighty. Never come see. And come see. You and the cronies. Your pain no star pressure bus pipe. Time now. Who no treat the poor people right? We no love all the country around. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. That was just a little snippet from our artist DRX. And DRX has a song out that is called We No Love All the Country Around. Jesus DRX had the full video you have to send me, man. Send me the full video and overlap it on this said while make a play it for the viewers, make them hear. Because we really don't love all the country around. My viewers and subscribers. West just for Everald Warmington says, with the coming boundary shift in Portmore St. Catherine, the Jamaica, Jamaica Labour Party will create a stronghold in the division. Mr. Warmington, who was addressing party faithfuls at the St. Catherine East Central Joint Divisional and Constituency Conference on Sunday, said the People's National Party will no longer be competition in the Portmore division once the capital is declared a parish. He said with the candidate selections and boundary changes, he is confident that the GOP talking about Portmore like they love Portmore and they want the best of Portmore residents but here is Mr. Langton Warmington I got exposed them because they keep acting like they want the best of Portmore Raheem Gentles blessings to you how you doing my brethren big up yourself man Raheem Gentles and welcome to the class even while he said them dangerous part they are way ahead of the orange man it seems them are wicked my viewers and subscribers, please remember to hit the like button. And remember, feel free to send a little blessings in at the Super Chat, all right? If you like the class or you appreciate the class, remember to hit the Super Chat and send a little blessings to teacher, man, all right? Hit the Super Chat and send a blessing. Send a 10, 15, 5, anything the Lord bless you will hit the Super Chat. Irvin Morgan said, yes, change the name of the parishes them. That is the question that I'm asking my viewers and subscribers. Do you think that the parishes should stay the same? Andrea Burks and leave Portmore alone. It look like riches over here. No, we don't want it to be a parish to hell with you, dictator. Lord Jesus. Finisher said, Andrew is really from hell. Warmington explained exactly why they are rushing to make Portmore a parish. Yes, Warmington, I go tell them. Warmington's mouth is as loose as a baby's bottom. Lord Jesus, you know, easy, you know. Venus sang a real talk, Stacey and Stoner. Andrea Burke said that changes will not work. All titles will have to change. So that doesn't make any sense. Okay, me understand what you say. Ivan say he is burning down the house barn on his way out. Pat said, John T, you are right. Venus Sang say agreed, John T. Stacey and Sona say it's too late in the night to see the green monster. Devon, I have nightmare. <laughs> Andrea Goodwin said, let them let out the prisoners. Lord Jesus, John T is a night teacher. Maybe we should have a name change in parishes to move away. Oh, Marida, one day. Marida comments, say, calligraphy, say, Jamaica, a topic, your video is playing. I like the video are playing. Ivan said, what kind? Ivan Wally said, two of a kind. What do you mean by two of a kind? Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, let me play this for you so that you can listen to what Warmington, because them feel like so they might do things and nobody don't know. Listen to Warmington and bust it up on them. Listen to this, yeah. West St. Catherine, Catherine Everett Warmington says, with the coming boundary shift in Portmore St. Catherine, the Jamaica, Jamaica Labour Party will create a stronghold in the division. My viewers and subscribers, Devon, Awaka, tell lie about Portmore a change and Portmore a evolve. Them Awaka, tell lie and want to change Portmore in a Paris status. But it's not ready to turn into a Paris status yet. 
And a lot of people that say, oh, yeah, give Portmore Paris status. What benefit will Portmore have if they become a Paris status? Listen to Long Tongue Warming and telling you the benefits why this government is so adamant to let Portmore become a parish. Listen to Warmington and bust out them secret. Listen. Mr. Warmington, who was addressing party faithfuls at the St. Catherine East Central Joint Divisional and Constituency Conference on Sunday, so the People's National Party will no longer be competition in the Portmore Division once the capital is declared a parish. He said with the candidate selections and, and boundary changes, changes, he is confident that the GLP can establish a stronghold in the East Central St. Catherine, Catherine Division. Listen to Warmington attacking you know, on my viewers and subscribers. Devon is not going to be happy with this video, you know. Devon not going to like this video, you know, because Warmington are bust out him secret, then my viewers and subscribers. Warmington is letting out the secrets out of the bag. Listen to Long Tongue Warmington and tell you, you know, what them plan for do listen for 2011 when we have the last bound to change that poor boy should not be Spanish town and today I have to say that we are the one that we want in all of us for real let's say land should grow raise the end on that side will no longer be in the poor boy so the world that we feel we have the last subscribers listen to warmington you know warmington is basically explaining to you that when they make portmore a parish some of the people them um, from lime tree grove and the back side of portmore will lead you back in a saint catherine the wall of them side there it gone over in a different constituency in a jlp constituency my viewers and subscribers it's politics they're playing Brownminton is basically letting you know that the JLP is doing this a politics, my viewers and subscribers, and we should not be we should not be surprised because we know they do nothing in favor of the people, my viewers and subscribers. Listen what them plan for do. Listen. I've been fighting before 2011 when we had the last bound to change that poor boy should not go to Spanish town. And today I'm happy to say that we have the bound that we wanted all along. For real, let's spend lime tree grow, range the end on that side, will no longer be in Pogo Pan. So the whole of them PNP on the left. You hear what them say? So the whole of them PNP on the left. Listen to them say, I got me to them. Listen to them say, I got me to them. Listen to Long Tongue Warmington telling them to say, it's a plan for, 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 for reduce or diminish the number of PNP supporters. Listen to him. No longer be in Pogo Pan. So the whole of them being people on the left, then God let them is doing it. But we'll be able to never listen to them more. I guess the further, when we take four more off the center train, it's a different world. I'm going to say, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, the members and subscribers, him basically, I said, when him take Port Moore off a St. Catherine, it's a whole different ball game. So it's going to be in a freedom political advantage, my viewers and subscribers. When you see all the people, them wicked. That's why I've been saying to you, my viewers and subscribers, you can't trust these people. And anytime you see them come out with something, you have to question. You have to question the authenticity of what they do. You have to question the motive behind it. Because enough of us are sitting and say, oh, put more deserve for their parish and give put more parish status. Give put more parish status for what? Who is going to benefit when Portmore get Paris status? Are the citizens of Portmore going to have a better living condition? Is life going to be better for them? Is life going to be easier? It's not going to be. So why is it that they're so adamant that they want it to be another Paris? So Warmington come out and tell you that. Andrew Berg said, let him try it at the street. We are tech for it. That are in I'm dream. Well, that are what them plan for the sister. That is what them plan for the Andrea. So nobody feel like it's a fairy tale. I remember I said this is Devon. 
where they find beer face and broke every rule in the book. So when you don't take it lightly, Lyndon Green said these guys will do anything to keep their stranglehold on the country. Where is the hospital? The courthouse. Is that my one no Lyndon? Where is the hospital? Where is the courthouse? Where is the market? A one old fire station there over Waterford from how long? One old fire station where they are market from how long, my viewers and subscribers? One old fire station where they are market how long? Tell me, tell me the truth now, my viewers and subscribers. Only tell me the truth. Only tell me the truth. Tell me the truth now, my viewers and subscribers. What more do you want for sister these people? They will do any single thing. My viewers and subscribers, for ensure that you and you and you remain slave in this country. They will do everything to ensure that them keep them see it. Allow me to tell. Ivan Wallace said at Maria W. Like his buddies in GOP here in the USA. BC, a bless up Andrea Burke. Andrea Burke said, I chat him a chat. This one won't go down well. We are wait for him. Well, Andrea, me hope say, you mean business because you don't know when Mr. Man chat a business, he mean Alfonso Lewis said, back in class, teacher, big up yourself. BC said, their interest is sport more, is political, not for the people. We know that the warming and just come tell with BC. Say, I want them to use it for win the election. And my viewers and subscribers, they will do it. BC said, does Portmore have a hospital? Absolutely not. Them do have no hospital. My viewers and subscribers, I'm going to be playing a song. And this is from DRX. And DRX is one of our classmates. This is a song. I want you to go over to DRX Real One at YouTube. My viewers and subscribers, this song is called We No Love All The Country I Run. And I want you to go over to YouTube at DRX Real One. So I'm pin the information here, my viewers and subscribers. Please go over to YouTube if you want to see the full video of the song. Or if you want the full video or the full song, please go over to YouTube at DRX Real One. Marius Windham said it's Jerry Mandarin. Manipulate the boundaries of an electoral constituency so as to favor one party or class. Achieve as a result by manipulating the boundaries of an electoral constituency. And that them do. Them manipulate the boundaries. We know that so this government know them are going to lose. So them do everything for win the next election. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, we are telling them so we're all over the country around. And if you want to hear this song, you can go over to YouTube at DRX Real One. DRX Real One. Listen to the song. Hey! Somebody tell the big nose boy. Jaja August Mighty. Never come see. And come see. You and your cronies. Your fin was a pressure bus pipe. Time now. For no treat the poor people right. We no love all the country around. We no love all the country around. We no love all the country around. We no love all Jamaica around. People can't buy food, picnic can't go to school. The government yeah, wicked and cruel. Back at the class, them say we too fool. We too dieted, and not them rule. Time come for sure, them away, the people got the power. Crooked politician get the power. Robbing our lands, keep the people poor, raising the tax every day or the hour. Tell me I can rise up now. We need little bit wage, better road and water. Portland, St. Thomas, and water. You're dead. We no love all the country around. We no love all the country around. We no love all the country around. We no love all Jamaica around. Big bank, rob small bank, and the mark, and the beast, they want bring panel land. Hey, Miss Amman, no touch the constitution. We not trust you. Don't hear me in a corruption. Walk one with the crime plan. So much pit, nigga, trip, so much murder, panel land. Police and soldiers. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, as I said, that was from DRX. Yes, BC, send up some love. I want our students in the class, DRX. We have a big up DRX, the artist. Blessings to your DRX. If you want this yeah. video, my viewers and subscribers, you can send me a message and say a topic. But we the video with the song when I love all the country I run. Here it is, my viewers and subscribers.
I just got the full we just got the full uh, clip so let me put it up on the screen we can look at it and in the event you want this song to play you can send me a message and say a topic you know some want that song that bad send it to my man and all those students can go over to DRX Real One at YouTube and support the artist go over to him YouTube page and subscribe to the YouTube page come on students all of the artists then we are bound fire up on the government we need to support them so that more people can hear them song. Like the video, share the video, hey. and subscribe. Because the more you share the video, is the more YouTube push the video to other people. So when you go over to DRX Real One, my viewers and subscribers, I want you to hit the like button and I want you to subscribe. Let me just play the song. And after we play the song, we just go say our final goodbyes and we are going to leave the class. All right? Listen to the song, my viewers and subscribers. Hey. Somebody tell the big nose boy Jaja I got smite him Never come see And come see You and your cronies You feel no sir pressure bus five Time now For no treat the poor people right We no love for the country a road 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 People can't buy food, picnic can't go to school the government yeah, wicked and cruel Back of the class, them say we too fool We too dieted, and not them rule Time come for show them away, the people got the power Cookie politicians get the power Robbing our lands, keep the people poor Raising the tax every day or the hour Tell me you can rise up now We need little more wage, better road and water Portland, St. Thomas, and water Harry, you're dead! We don't love for the country around. We don't love for the country around. We don't love for the country around. We don't love for Jamaica around. Big bang, rap small bang, Kadi Mark, Kadi B, say we bring one in land. Every someone not touch the constitution. We not trust you. Don't hear me no corruption. Walk one with the crime plan. So much people get to rap, so much murder on the land. But he stands to watch our road with like sand. Who much you get to sell out the nation? We ain't no one top and rat the gun. Make we bangle them up one by one. All the blackers were fight for the island. Yo, jump me a car, rise up, no man. We don't love for the country a road. We don't love for the country a road. We don't love for the country a road. We don't love for jump me a car. and subscribers so that was from the artist and there you can see his comment mark drx real one and drx said yes teacher give thanks so students remember said drx are one of our classmates so go over to youtube and just type in drx real one we don't love all the country around and you will see the song come up and you can hit the video subscribe like and share all right my viewers and subscribers you can remember so over here so we help each other will bless up each other so good night to you one and all thank you so much for joining us for the second class nadi where have you been in all long minutes here nadi pretty pretty so we don't love all the country around we don't love all jamaica around for true bcs smarty tell a big nose boy said judge i go strike him yes my viewers and subscribers so thank you so much for being here with us for the second class over here at jamaica a topic i trust that you enjoyed the program and in case you came late on this program you can go ahead and watch the first program that we did all right so on behalf of the teacher myself mr murder on behalf of all of the moderators and on behalf of all of the students in the class blessings to you maria say 
uh, good show, which is bro. Say hello, Nadia. Which is bro, I wish for you today. You know how long I see you? I, do, I never see you, which is bro. I wish for you today in the comments. I never see you at all, which is bro. Blessings to you and welcome to the class. Big up to each and every person who was in the class. Yella Morris and Nardi was at Make With Talk. Uh, uh, Nardi was at Make With Talk. A bono chopper. Where you say Nardi, they talk of the things. Um, John said, big tune teacher. John T go over to DRX Real One. DRX Real One. I like the video students. I want our classmates, so we have to go support the thing. All right? John T is a big tune teacher. Maria Williams, I like the show. Well, glad you enjoyed the show, Maria. Ivan Johnson said, Good night, Jamaica, at Africa, and to everyone in Jesus' name. Big up to you, Ivan Johnson. Blessings and take care of yourself. John T has show love. Pretty, pretty, so have a blessed night, which is Bruce. I was sober at Mequitag. I wanted to crawl through the phone. I licked in Chapa John. Oh, liar. Be careful when you listen to a man, it penetrates the part of your ears and make fungus in my throat. When you can't sit down and listen to liar, chop a jam, you know, what's up here, lie, I'm tell. Me no expose that over here for a long time. Now this a notification was off for some reason. Well, sorry about that. Make sure you say keep it on. Them sound with it over, Jeffrey. Well, all right, big up on yourself, which is Bruce. Say, hello, teacher, seasons, blessings, it call over here. Lord, my sorry phone on the call. Big up Linden Green. Big up each and every person who was on the live. Thank you so much for joining us, students. As I said to all those who are just coming into the class, you can re-watch the live. And also, we did another live earlier on since night. We did another live earlier on since night, my viewers and subscribers, earlier on in the evening. So you could watch this live back, you could re-watch it, or you could watch the other live and enjoy the class so seasons greetings to you my viewers and subscribers blessings one and all today is the 22nd of december and there is three more days to go until christmas so i just want to say to everybody big up on yourself i hope you guys keep safe walk good on the ground take care of yourself take care of the family keep safe found a don't know one love and blessings to you all from jamaica a topic Big up on yourself. I remember I forgot over to DRX Real One and support him, him song. All right? You don't know, say so you have to support who are support you. All right? My brothers and subscribers, so blessings to you. Now this is a witch is bro. What a man lie. So I never know, say the man a big liar. I'm going to play one video over here for me to listen to the man lie. But anyway, my brothers and subscribers, big up to you. Take care. DRX, a teacher must love. Big up yourself, DRX. Which is Bruce. All I want for the new year is for us to win the LGE local government election and then gearing for the general. Andrew and Juliet sick, my stomach. I know you alone, their stomach, them sick. Calligraphy said, Jamaica, a topic, you back. Yes, I'm back tomorrow. I think I'll be having two classes. One at mostly four. I'll be having mostly two classes. One at three to five. And me, I'll be a next one from about six to eight. So I'll be having two class, three to five and six to eight tomorrow. JP said, no idea I could make it over and make with talk. I really miss this show for some days. Well, all right. Thank you for being over here, JP. Big up yourself. Take care. Then if I say I was at uh, Jeffrey too. Chopper John is your miss. Chopper John, I real liar. JP, four hours time. Okay. Well, big up on yourself. Take care. <coughs> Jeffrey has the O's. Should never make him get away with it. But you see, oh, ratty, demolish him. Okay. Fenija, good night to you. Laura Wheatley, good night to you, everybody. Blessings to you. Thank you for being here. We appreciate the time. Appreciate the patience. Take care. Have a good night from Jamaica. Topic. All right? Big up on yourself. You guys can watch the show that we did earlier on. Or you can watch the show from beginning. So I just want to say blessings to each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Now they say me I come back tomorrow. Notification is back on. Well, make sure I'll be having two shows tomorrow. One from about three to five, and the other one from four to six. So I'm not having a show tomorrow night. I'm not having any show tomorrow night at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, or ten o'clock. I'll be having two shows. So if you can tune in, tune in. 
which is both a teacher, we appreciate you. Have a good night. Big up yourself too. Big up yourself, my viewers and subscribers. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Hold on a second. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Now this is a gonna watch. All right, I born as a big up yourself. Alfonso Lewis, the teacher, play a Warmington tape. Lord Jesus, I which tape for Warmington that? Me not play that tape already. You have to go. You have to go back back the class. Alfonso, Lara, say blessings, my brother. Big up on yourself, JP. Everybody, blessings to you 